In today's video, I'll be beating a harder version of Bloxfruits that I like to call Hardcore Mode in 24 hours. So stay tuned because this challenge is crazy. Again. First things first though, apparently a fruit has spawned, so let me see what's cupping around here. Oh, it's a flame fruit. Oh, this thing needs to leave me alone. So against the Gorilla King, we get 75 stats, but before I even decide what I want to invest in, let's go ahead and see what our fruit is going to be. All right, give me something decent like a flame fruit or something, but then again, like it's the Gorilla, so it doesn't really matter. No way. It's actually gonna give me the flame fruit ah oh, it's gonna give me falcon so one cool thing about this challenge is that i still have not maxed out some of my fruits and the majority of them be in my common and uncommon fruits so my falcon fruit is not maxed out at all we do get 75 stats so i'm gonna put a whopping 50 into our blocks fruits and 25 honestly i'm gonna put it into our defense that could be a little bit of trolling but it should be fine so we only get wind burst right now which is perfectly fine honestly if anything this is great this is probably the best boss for me to get falcon against so we're just gonna stay up here wind burst it up and just uh chill yeah we're just gonna be vibing bro all right just one more hit to go there we go so after beating the gorilla king we now have one point so with that point we can decide to either buy a stat reroll or 50 stats or we could just decide to save our points and i feel like early on or best bet i get in points and stacking them up is going to be right now so i'm gonna save my one point and uh yeah we're gonna go ahead and fight bobby now so let's go ahead and spin or fruit bobby is another easier one but you know he could still beat us pretty easily if we're not careful but we just got our best fruit all right so we got ice let's go this is huge let's get 90 stats so i'm gonna put a good whopping 60 into blocks fruits and the remaining 30 into melee let's get our energy up a little bit because it's a little lackluster and luckily for us our ice is awakened so i'm gonna take complete advantage of that all right absolute zero glacial surge and there we go point number two is ours all right mr saw let's see what we gotta fight you with what is our fruit going to be it's going to be a dark oh dark's not bad sadly my dark fruit is not awakened but you know it is what it is right we take what we can take so equip or dark fruit plus we get 135 stats 100 of them bad boys are going straight into our blocks fruit and 35 is gonna go into melee a little weak defensively but it's okay i'll start splitting it up amongst uh melee and defense in a little bit for now though this hopefully should be good we're gonna start off with a dark bomb into the black hole the good thing about saw is he has literally zero range so as long as we don't get into his range for him to use his little saw move we should be good so yeah if we keep him right here we're chilling let's charge up our dark spirit bomb how did he get in the house oh wait he got through how did you get over there i'm using that dark spirit bomb in the air yes sir -ski. i'm mad low on energy right now but he's super weak let's just throw some dark rocks into the black spiral i need to get enough energy for dark bomb all right yeah i missed dark dark rocks why why am i missing black spiral yeah <laughs> okay time to fight yeti it is important to note as well though that we do have three points so if i want to take a risk i can roll for a random fruit which by the way i can keep permanently mm, do i risk it or do i save for like five points where i can roll for an epic plus fruit i actually just don't know i've invested quite a lot of stats into my blocks fruits by now so i don't even think i'm gonna invest into a random sword i'll probably save up for a fighting style at most mm, i actually i don't even know what i don't know my strategy you know what i believe in my rng i am cashing out all three of my points in order to roll for a random fruit it's possible we could get kitsune leopard anything really wait 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 guys <laughs> guys all right so we managed to pull leopard and i'm also gonna get myself 30 stats so i'll put a mm, honestly i'm just gonna put 15 in melee and defense and i know what you're thinking leopard is too op acer you can't use that while i did just get really crazy luck honestly i agree so what i'm gonna do is i'm only gonna allow myself to use leopard for three fights and i can save those fights for later so honestly i'm gonna use the leopard for should i even bother i feel like yeti is not worth using one of my leopard lives i don't think i don't think yeti is worth using my leopard fruit again so we're gonna go ahead and roll here for a random uncommon common whatever and we'll use whatever we get here we're gonna save the leopard for later because you never know especially for these later bosses like longma i'm gonna want leopard we got sand okay sand is pretty decent i will definitely take this this will help out a lot against somebody like this yeti is very easy just like gorilla king we just got to stay back and just guide him out luckily sand yeah it, it, it's really good for this and let's go ahead heavy sand easy as possible 
right, now we're back to one point. Mob leader time. Let's go ahead and spin our random fruit here. And we get smoke. I swear I fight this dude with smoke all the time, bro. Give me my smoke fruit. And we get another 30 stats. Should I put? I don't even know what to do. I'll put 15 into defense. Like, I want to be very tanky because if you die, I just I don't want to restart any of these Cs. So, I'll, yeah, I'll do 15 in defense and 15 in melee. I feel like this is a good enough melee stat for us for now. I'm just going to focus on uh, blocks through and defense after this for a bit. All right, though, Mr. Mob Leader, I hope you're ready to get clapped. Yeah, we're doing good damage, bro. I'm just gonna stay in the air, hit the smoke bomber, and there's nothing he can do. He's got no type of range, no projectiles, nothing. How are you a mob leader and you don't got a gun, bro? Step up your game. All right, and get what? Well, get, get him out of here. Thank you. We are now at Marine Fortress. Who are we gonna fight Mr. Vice Admiral with? Oh, the chop fruit? That's, that would be fire if we could block his sword attacks, but he's a boss, so it goes through or like like immunity that is pretty annoying so honestly i'm not gonna take any risks i'm going to put honestly i'm gonna put all 30 of our stats into defense i'm not taking no risks and we get the chop fruit nice nice tackle dance yeah dance all over him dance all over him we gotta dodge his little triple slice yeah hit the party incorrectly dodge that dance dodging and weaving hit the party all right after this party barrage i should have him here with dance yep easy peasy lemony squeezy now, I am not excited for this boss saber at all. A part of me wants to use one of my leopard lives for this. I don't know. I, I, I don't know, man. I think we're just gonna, should I risk it? We do have three points right now. So I could roll for another random fruit or I could even buy a boss skip. A boss skip couldn't, I don't know. I don't know what to do. I'm gonna go ahead and roll our fruit here. Depending on what we get will depend whether or not I use my points. That's kind of metagaming a little bit. I do not care. Bike is not not the best fruit to use in here. It is not the best fruit to use in this room at all. I have definitely fought him with spike before and definitely gotten clobbered. So I definitely think I'm going to use my points for something here. And there's a couple things we could do. We could buy 150 stats with three points, which will make us significantly stronger with the spike fruit. We could buy a random fruit or we can buy a boss skip. You know what? I'm feeling lucky after getting the leopard fruit. So I'm gonna cash in all three of my new points. And we're gonna go ahead and roll for a fruit. Please, please do not cook me. Please do not cook. Sound? Sound's not bad. Phoenix? Phoenix isn't bad. I got sound. Barely got sound, too. All right, so now that we have the sound fruit, we'll have it for three fights. And obviously, I'm going to use one of those fights right now. So I'm going to I'm gonna cheese it a little bit and try to fortissimo on this corner so I can get my tempo meter up. All right, cool. Our tempo meter is up. We also get 250, 210 stats. Sorry. So I'm going to put 150 into blocks fruits and 30 into defense and melee. And we're going to we're gonna fortissimo again because I, I kind of messed up a little bit all right our tempo meter is up let's just spam bro we're just we're just keeping that boy in the corner i don't want him anywhere near me i can't even see it's so golden stay away from me yo get this man away from me i don't like it this this fruit is too vibrant for me to use in this area dude it's actually tripping me out so bad i'm hitting the monkeys all around us wait my tempo meter is going down glorious harmony don't keep me stuck for too long rhapsody notes symphonic radius <laughs> that was that was a little too intense for my liking. All right, well, I have two more lives for this sound fruit, so uh, yeah, you know, it's, it's gonna be nice having it right now. I, mean, I can't have it forever, though. <sighs> okay, well, we gotta go ahead and fight the warden now. The warden is not a boss I would want to use either my leopard or sound fruit on, so let's go ahead and see. And we get smoke. Smoke is good. Smoke is really good against him. We get 30 stats or 60, sorry. So I'll put, mm, I'll put 40 in blocks fruit and 20 into defense. And uh, yeah, I mean, again, this should be really relatively easy in theory i just gotta stay in the air and smoke bomber him and he's really like cooked there's nothing brother can do all right liberation smoke blast and finish him off with a nice smoke bomber well that's it for the normal warden now we gotta fight the chief warden what fruit are we gonna use for him it's looking oh no not the falcon fruit okay well that's not fantastic but i guess it's not too terrible go ahead use the falcon fruit and we get 30 stats so i'll put all 30 on Honestly, I'll put it into blocks fruits. I don't think I'm going to need defense for him. Might need it for Swan, though, who I'm pretty worried about. So eh, we'll see how things go. If worse comes to worse, I do still have lives on my other fruits. Oh, no, he's going to get me. Ha <laughs> ha. And wind burst. All right. We have three points now. I 
think I'm gonna save the mob though. So I have two decisions here. Either I could use my sound fruit, which only has two more fights left in it, or I can roll for just a common. Well, let's just go ahead and roll our common because if we could get something like flame or dark or ice, I can kind of get behind that. Sand, is sand good enough? We might die with sand. I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna take a bit of a risk because I want to try to save as many points as possible. There's always a like chance that I might wanna get like a sword or like a fight and sell or something then reset my stats. So I'm gonna need a lot of points for stuff like that. So I'm gonna just save it for now. Well, we get 30 stats. I'm going to put it into defense. I just I just don't wanna die. <laughs> That's really what it is. I'll sacrifice a little bit of damage if it means I just don't die. Gotta play this super strategically because he does have like a track and move. Yep, dodge that. I need to, I keep missing desert funeral. What is wrong with me? Oh man, my lack of energy is definitely cooking me up right now. It's okay though. I don't need to run super fast. His moves are pretty easy to dodge. I just gotta make sure that I'm constantly moving. All right, I think he might be done here. Dodge that, bam, and put you in a funeral. Oh, four points now. Okay, we're doing a lot better than I thought, but <laughs> obviously we're fighting the easier bosses right now. It's definitely gonna get a lot harder soon. Oh, well, 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 we gotta fight the magma admiral. We got 330 stats. So I need to put at least 230 into block roots or else we're gonna be way too weak. And then I'm gonna put a good 50 into defense and melee. Yeah, that's right. You guys aren't crazy. For once, Acer is actually doing pretty decent stat investments. I do have four points, so I could go for a risky roll here, but I think honestly, I'm just gonna go ahead and spin. Magma Admiral isn't too scary, but if the fruit I get is really bad at range, then I might have. Ooh. Ooh. Spring sounds like a really easy way to die. <laughs> spring sounds like a really easy way to die. Let me see Spring's move set again. Yeah, I don't know. I feel like I could die really easily with using Spring. So I'm gonna use one of our sound lives. That might be kind of stupid, but I'm gonna do it. Nah, you, you can't stop me. All right, with sound, we should be able to beat him pretty easily. We just gotta make sure that we dodge his fists. So charge up our tempo meter. Yes, sir. Rhapsody notes. Ooh, I just took his fist to the face straight up, dude. Oh my gosh, that brother just punched me. Thank goodness I have defense though. If I did not, I would be hooked. I'm gonna just, I'm just gonna leave, bro. Like, <laughs> yeah, nice, nice aim, buddy. Fortissimo, and we're gonna fly away yet again. Just stay in the air. Is he not gonna, are you not even gonna try? Like, what's going on? Yeah, look at you. Yeah, yeah, you did it. Wow. <laughs> All right, we're in the underwater city now. We have five points, so we could finally do one of our extreme rolls. Hmm, do I, honest, I don't know. We do need a new fruit though, because we're about to run out of sound. We're about, to, we're about to run out of our permanent sound. So I think having another backup fruit would be good. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm going to buy one random fruit and save the other two points. So we still got two points. So we're saving them for later. But for now, I just wanna get our arsenal of fruits even stronger. So let's see if we could get a pretty solid fruit, hopefully. It is very possible, by the way, that we could roll like a common or uncommon, but it looks like we're gonna get spider. Okay. I am actually okay with this. I'm actually okay with this. I'm pretty sure I have my unawakened spider right now. I actually don't know, but either way, this is fine. I'm actually going to use one of its lives right now. We do get to 225 stats. So I'm going to put 200 into blocks roots and 25 into defense. Our energy is more than good. I don't have to worry about it right now. All right, though. Thermal laceration. It's your time to perish, Mr. Fishman Lord. You got to go ahead and be a little smart. All right, cool. He used that move. Heavenly punishment. Is it? I'm pretty. Is this awakened? I don't even know, bro. I'm just doing things. This route is so good, though. I'm so happy. I got this. Just got to wait for him to use his little. Yep. There we go. Thermal laceration. Hold the silk prison. Why? And heavenly punishment. And he's out of here. Awesome. So or fruit arsenal is really good. Honestly, we're getting really lucky. If I ever do this challenge again, because you guys like it, then it's probably going to be a lot worse for me the next time I try this. But hey, I'll, I'll definitely take this luck right now. Oh, really? He whisper. Let's see what fruit we have to fight him with. We get 225 stats with this as well, which is pretty good. Can I get like, ooh, ugh. Okay, I don't know about I don't know about spin fruit, guys. <laughs> I don't know, I don't know about spin fruit. I for sure, no matter what, I'm gonna put 125 into defense and 102 blocks roots. I think that's a pretty balanced way to distribute our stats. Oh, I don't even have the final move for this. I'm such a noob. Let me see this thing again. And, and, okay, yeah, no, I don't think spin. I don't think spin is gonna cut it at all. Oh, so I don't want to use one of my spider lives. I do have three points, so I ah, uh, but do I want to waste my three points? I say waste, but like, it's very, it's again, very possible. I just get a really bad fruit. We've just been getting really lucky so far. Yeah. Whatever, man, I'm gonna take the risk. I, I feel like I have no choice. I'm gonna take the risk. Let's see if maybe I should have just stuck with spin. Oh no, are you for real? Well, 
I got perm chop for three fights now. Yeah, I knew my luck was not gonna last for much longer. However, honestly, since my chop is maxed out and it's a higher mastery than spin, so I'm not too upset about this. I'm just not very happy. Let's go ahead and fight Mr. Whisper. Okay, yeah, damage isn't too bad. I mean, yeah, that's a that's a flat 4,500 combo right there. That's not bad. I don't know if I could take a bazooka shot, but I definitely can take a couple of his punches. Oh, oh my gosh, that bazooka just did half my HP. Cool out, Mr. Whisper. Dang. I'm gonna dance on your grave now, sucker. Yeah. Back to one point. Yahoo. Oh boy. And now, yeah, this is... Ugh. Our bosses for the rest of this sea are gonna be a little challenging. Do I want to use my spider, leopard, or anything? First things first, let's see what we roll off like our basic roll. Because if we could get something like not bomb, I, I don't think bomb is gonna cut it at all, actually. All right, though, I think I've decided I'm just gonna go ahead and use one of my spider lives so we get 225 stats i'm gonna put 125 into blocks roots and 100 into defense and there goes another one of our spider lives unlucky but you know we we take what we can take gotta be very careful not to get hit by any of his moves yeah get weaved heavenly punishment solid demaglia <sighs> Ooh, you thought you were him with that i saw you all right dodge that silk prison eternal white and thermal lacerations back up he's still alive you know what i'm gonna hit you with your own uh your own style of move yeah take this heavenly punishment and i got the pole who do you think i am final boss of the first seed mr cyborg let's see what kind of fruit we can get bomb again smoke can i beat him with smoke this is gonna be risky i don't know if i should be taking these risks against cyborg luckily though we still have three lives in this sea so even if i die to cyborg i still have another two shots to fight him so i'm gonna take the risk we get 300 stats against him so i'm gonna put dude i'm gonna too much defense <laughs> If I even get hit, okay, never mind. We're putting an extra one in there. Yeah, we don't like that number around here. And then I'll put 99 into Blocks Roots. I don't know, man. I'm just terrified of everything. If he farts, I'll be I die. Like, that's embarrassing, bruh. All right, though. Let's start fighting Soy Big. Let's just try not to get hit. Honestly, we might be able to just cheese this if we just don't get hit. He's going to use, yep. Keep using that move, bro. Ooh, dodge and weave, dodge and weave. Wait, Smoke is low-key kind of busted against bosses. The ring around the rosy strategy is impossible to be beat. Oh, yeah. I, I have successfully cheesed the wazoo out of Cyborg. Smoke Bomber is so busted. I was so nervous for nothing. You weren't even anything to me, buddy. Get out of my game. I never want to see you around these parts again. We get another 75 stats from the Ice Admiral that does not exist. So I'll put 75 into... Let's see, nah, I'm just gonna put 50 defense, five blocks fruit. And there we go. First C completed. We end up with three points left remaining. The fruits that we currently we have our leopard which we have three lives on sound which we have one life on spider which we also have one life on and perm chop which we have two lives on let's see what the second he's got for us yo i just found a phoenix fruit yeah all righty first fight of the second c is against diamond we can also now use hockey and observation hockey as well so let's go ahead and spin the wheel and it's looking like we're gonna fight diamond with the flame fruit oh i'm definitely down with this so let's equip the flame fruit and we we also get 150 stats. So I'll put 100 into blocks fruits and 50 into, eh, I'll do a split. 25, 25 into melee and defense. Oh boy. All right, let's begin. Burning bullets, fire bullets. All right, diamond should be relatively easy. He has his sword, which gives him a couple dashes, which can be kind of complicated if we get hit by him. So let's just try not to get hit by him. There we go, dodge that. Let's throw him in the air with a fire column. All right, he's on half HP. Dodge and weave, dodge and weave. Fire bullets, burning blast. Ooh, okay. Okay, I'm gonna make this challenge a little bit more difficult. I'm not gonna allow myself to use observation hockey. Unless it's to like check their HP or something like usual. Let's see. Oh God, I, maybe I shouldn't have done that, but I've already said it. So now I gotta do it. That's that done and done with though. Now we got four points. Honestly, I think I'm gonna, at least for this video, stay away from the swords and the fighting styles. I think we're just gonna focus on fruits. This may not be, I don't know if that's the best option, but it definitely can't be the worst. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna save. Is there any bosses in this sea that I wanna skip? I I don't want to skip Don Swan. I feel like that might be kind of cheese. Okay, I, I I don't even know. Let's spin the wheel though for Jeremy. I'm actually like so stuck on what my strategy should be. Because a part of me wants to use swords and stuff just to spice up the challenge a bit, but bomb? Hmm. I don't think I'm gonna use bomb. Bomb is just like such a meh fruit at this point in the game. I mean, I could try, but I feel like I'd die and I don't want to risk any of my lives right now. All right, I'm gonna cash in three points. We're gonna go ahead and do a normal spin. And with this spin, I'm going to lock out the 
a random fruit spin. So this is gonna be my last random fruit spin. I can still use five points to get a random fruit epic plus wheel spins after this, but we're gonna be cutting this part off because I don't wanna only rely on this to spin, you know? I wanna, I wanna spice up the game a little bit. So let's see what we can get. Are you for real? I'm not even writing that down. I'm, I'm not even gonna write that down, bro. I just burned three points for nothing. And now we can't use any more random fruit spins. All right, so I'm definitely not gonna use Falcon and I'm definitely not gonna use Bomb. So I guess I'll use one of my perm chops. I have one more after this. Doesn't really matter. I'm fine with that. We also get 300 points here. So I'm gonna put 150 into blocks fruits and 75 into, mm, should I even bother putting anything in melee? I don't think I should. If I decide to start using like fighting styles that I may as like at that point, I would probably just buy a sat reset as well. So I think I'm just gonna focus on defense and blocks fruits for now. All right though, Jeremy, it's time to tussle. Let's go box. All right. Ooh, okay, nice hit. Yeah, we're doing some solid damage right now. Not having any uh, observation hockey is making this challenge actually a lot better. I feel like observation hockey is a little cheap, at least for hardcore mode. All right, I'm not playing this super strategically, but we still managed to pull out a dub, so I'll take it. From this point on, I don't think any of the bosses we're gonna fight are gonna be bums. So I'm a little bit worried. Uh, we only have so many fruits left. Should I bother using my perm chop for fajita? I don't know. I'm kind of worried about fajita, actually. Well, let's spawn or, or spawn. Spin or default wheel. We can get ice. I'll be diamond is not. No, 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 no. We're not doing diamond. For some reason, and don't ask me why. Maybe it's because I just don't like this fruit that much. As you can see, I only have one move. Like, in cross doesn't count. That's just a necessity transformation move. I'm not fighting fajita with only the diamond fruit. You're crazy. So I'm pretty much forced here to use one of my permanent fruit slots. You know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna risk it. I feel like I can pull out a dub using the chop fruit against fajita. I might be a little too crazy, but you know, I'm gonna try it. We get 225 stats though. So mm, 150 defense, 75 blocks fruits. That sounds about right. Just gotta, gotta get really tanky or else I'm cooked. So uh, let's, let's, let's do this fajita. Let's fight. Oh, damage is leaving a little to be desired right now. I'm not gonna lie. Thank goodness I'm investing in defense in this challenge or else it would be a lot worse right now. I just have to be very careful for his, that move, that move. I gotta go, I gotta go. Dodge all of that, dodge all of that. Nice. Now we're coming back in and we're hitting you with the combo. The party into the dance, into the tackle. Yes, Sursky. All right, he's dropping some more meteors. We're gonna dodge him. Party, dance. Oh no, more meteors, bro. Dang, chill. Okay, our defense stat is definitely clutching like crazy right now. Come on, can we finish him off with the party? Let's go, dude. Honestly, I'm pretty sad that we're out of chop because uh, yeah, chop is actually pretty good. It's not too terrible. Oh boy, I don't even want to go through this door right now, dude. I do have three points and I decided for the boss skip that I can only have one boss skip per C. So if I decide to boss skip here, I cannot boss skip anyone else, which means I can't boss skip Tide Keep, which I am a little worried about because if I don't get the right fruit for Tide Keeper, that's pretty much a guaranteed death. Ah, oh, dang, I actually don't know what to do here. I don't have enough points to uh, spin for an epic fruit. So we're gonna spin for just like, or guarantee spin for now. If we could put like ice, chop. Can chop clutch up against Don Swan though? Don Swan is too good in close range, dude. Let me think about, of the, about the bosses. I can't even speak right now because I'm getting scared. Let me think of the bosses that I might want Leopard against because we only have a couple of bosses left. I definitely want to have Leopard for Cake Queen, Longma, and oh, I kind of want a beautiful pirate as well. Yeah, I just don't think I can afford using one of my leopard slots here. Sound is still pretty good though. Sound might be able to clutch up. I think that's gonna be our best bet here. All right, we're gonna use our last sound slot. I'm not happy about this, guys. I'm very scared, I'm not gonna lie. A part of me really just wants to skip this, but I wanna be very safe with my boss skips, plus my points as well. Cause again, we only have so many battles left. All right, Don, oh, I'm not allowed to use observation hockey, but let's go, Don Swan. My strategy is pretty much yep there we go dodge that rhapsody notes glorious harmony it up and, oh my gosh he caught me wait i forgot about my stats what am i doing what am i doing uh, i'm just gonna put 225 in defense i don't care all right dodge everything with the tempo meter oh not tempo meter i can't even speak english bro i'm so nervous <laughs> i don't know why i'm so nervous i meant uh pratissimo though just stay in the air wait for him to use his move there we go rhapsody notes and then we're gonna throw a glorious harmony on this bozo yeah as i said like he, he has so much spam you gotta be really careful okay yep rhapsody notes and i'm not even gonna try to get close i'm just gonna get even further away or energy's running a little bit low so i gotta be a little safe here come on just use your ability yo he caught me mid-air luckily it didn't do any damage because he hit me like right outside the hitbox but 
All right, glorious harmony. I just missed. I missed my whole thing, bro. Get me out of here. So the issue with prestissimo is that when you're in it, you don't gain energy. So if I try to, oh, I won. Well, anyways, as I was saying, if I try to run away too, too much, then I'm gonna run out of energy. So I have to be very careful. Oh boy, that was a that was a fight. But luckily, I played the range game. We played the slow game and the smart game. Having defense definitely helps, guys. Who would have thought? Next up is Smoke Admiral. He gives us a lot 450 stats here, dude. I'm gonna put 250 in block. Should I put 250 in blocks roots? Yeah, why not? And then we'll do 150 in defense and 50 in melee. Sounds about right. Let's spin or wheel though. See what we can get. If we can get a chop fruit, I will take that. If we can get a smoke fruit, I will take the bomb. I don't really have a choice here. I'm not using my last spider roll. I'm not using leopard. So I think I'm gonna have to stick with bomb. I only got four points as well. So yeah, we're gonna have to stick with bomb. I'm not excited with this. As you guys can tell, I've been trying my hardest to avoid bomb. Not because bomb is bad or anything, but I don't know. I just feel like at this point in the game, it's kind of it's kind of not the safest type of move, but it's okay. Or not move, but ability. Well, let's just try to set up a whole bunch of traps. Target bomb, push you away. Yeah, do all your jumping. I'm gonna, uh, you know, explosive jump, and then I'm gonna drop a more land mines. You know what I mean? Grab ya. Okay, maybe I shouldn't have been so afraid of bomb because I'm kind of cooking him right now. You know what though? I'm gonna charge it up, bro. I'm gonna hit that cell destruct. Come over here. I know you want to. Bam. Ooh. Bro just lost his entire soul. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, never mind, bro. Bomb fruit is it. This is the goaded fruit. I misunderstood this fruit all along, bro. This fruit was for real, man. I did not think I would do so much damage, dude. Well, we got five points right now. We're about to go ahead and swing ourselves over to the Winter Castle to fight the Ice Admiral, or Awakened Ice Admiral, I should say. I'm not super afraid of the Awakened Ice Admiral, especially since we have so many stats right now. Like, we're pretty strong. We do good damage. We're tanky. So I don't really want to spend any of my points for a fruit right now but let's see let's see what we roll really quickly if we can get something flame please give me flame i don't want spike spike's not gonna cut it i mean it might maybe i'm underestimating spike i don't think so bro <laughs> i don't think so we only have seven bosses after this though so i think it's in our best interest to use or five points here and spend an epic plus fruits i know you guys are probably wondering where the rares are um they didn't make the cut <laughs> so i'm sorry i didn't want to put i feel like the rares i mean they're not that bad i could have put them in here but Mm, nah. Well, we're out of points. All five of my points gone. Let's spin. Give me something good. Don't don't make it so I wasted my points, please. That would suck. No. D yes. Don't give me shadow. No. No. Well, we got the shadow fruit now. Don't get me wrong. Shadow is pretty cool. It'll do good damage. And honestly, it's probably more than enough to take down the Awakened Ice Admiral. But that would have been so much cooler, right? Like, like I like Doe, dude. Well, I'm definitely going to use shadow for this fight. We also get 750 stats bro so honestly i want to just get tank i want to just get like the, the model yield up so let's put 500 into blocks fruits and 250 into defense and yeah bro it's your time somber rebellion shades nest okay so that's what that move does and nightmare leash is the one that like heals me right yeah sorry guys i completely forgot about this fruit and how it worked <laughs> but i know this one is like my domain expansion so this is a really good move corvus torment yeah just stay honestly this is the perfect area for me to use shadow because it's super closed off so he's kind of forced to stay in the smoke area nice we could take all of these hits honestly somber rebellion nice and then corvus torment is back up and that should just be it for you bro like there's no way you're surviving this corvus torment bro yup g g g g yeah shadow is really good don't get me wrong i just want to know okay i'm not uh, i'm worried about tide keeper so there's two i have a couple plays i could do here i could either use the spider fruit which i only have one like fight left with that fruit or i can use one of my shadow i don't think i want to use one of my shadow though and i fought tidekeeper with spider before it's definitely pretty good against them shadow would be way better though i'd rather like what else am i gonna use like spider for okay i think i'm gonna use shadow here because i think spider would be better off used against like island empress or something so let's just spin really quickly um and see what we get because oh wait this is the wrong <laughs> wrong wheel spin my bad this is the right wheel spin let's spin really quickly and see what we get because if we could get like a flame fruit or something do not give me spike bro bro it's right there flame would have Work. Flame would have been perfect, actually. Flame would have worked. I'm, I'm just gonna use the shadow fruit, though. I, I genuinely think it's worth taking our shadow slot here. But then again, as well, we still have three lives. This is the final second C battle, so I can't risk it for the biscuit. We could try to fight him with the spike fruit. Is it, is, is that the play? Do we, do we risk using the spike fruit here? Let me see the spikes moves again. Yeah. Eat, 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 mm. <laughs> 
I don't, I don't think this is the play, guys. I don't think this is the play. I genuinely just don't see myself winning. But you know what? For the name of the challenge, we're going to try at least once. We're at least going to try once with the spike fruit. This could be bad. Well, uh, my stats, bro. See, I almost did a stupid. 225. So let's put 200 into blocks roots. And uh, should I just put 25 into blocks roots? Mm, nah, I'll put it into defense. It might seem silly. It is. So I'm um, sorry. Ooh, okay, 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 okay. I'm pacing myself, bro. I'm scared. Let's do this, though. The spiky barrage. Let's throw the spike summon as well. Oh, we're doing some. Wait, wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. We're doing some damage. Spiky ball. Wait, what is that? I've actually never used spiky ball before. I did not know that's what it did. Okay, wait, 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 wait. I mean, this isn't too terrible. It's definitely not great. <laughs> Don't get me wrong. It's definitely not great. But I would be lying if I sat here and pretended like this is impossible to deal with. The range on this is pretty good. What I'm really worried about, though, is the sea, uh, sea dragon. I called it sea dragon. The sea beast. Because if the sea beast spawns, then we're going to start having some problems. Oh my gosh, dude. He, I mean, he's taking a little bit of damage, but I'm getting pretty weak. I'm low on energy. I definitely should have put more of my stats into energy for this run. I'm really worried. I don't know why. Like, I'm actually terrified of this uh, CB spawn. Yup, here it is. Frick. This is not good. This is not good at all. Yup, yup. Look at this. It's so stupid. And then he, I hate that so much. And I can't stay back and try to heal. I'm kind of forced to just stay in the battle. Oh, I mean, I'm, I'm taking some of these hits but it's not looking good. I'm definitely feeling the hardcore aspect right now. Dude, I mean, this is just not fair. He's so weak too. He's so weak. I can't whirlwind because he'll just, he'll beat me. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I'm cooked. There's just, there's no way from this position I can win. I'm out of energy. I'm pretty much out of HP. I could try to like, he aimed at, he's literally better. He's better than me. I did good damage. I just, uh, I can't. Okay, he, he spawned back. Spike summon. Okay, okay, okay. I'm still alive. I'm still alive. I got to dodge that beam. I got to dodge those, man. Spike summon. Spike barrage. Dude, this is actually so close. Okay, he screamed. That means he can't laser right now, right? So let's charge up the spike summon. No. Dude, it was so close. Oh, I'm actually heartbroken right now, dude. I knew it was going to be difficult. Don't get me wrong. That's why I did it to, you know, impose the challenge more. But I'm so upset right now. Did he heal too? Nah, he's still on low HP. So let, oh, let's, just, let's just end this, bro. Oh, he was literally one shot. That is the first death of the video. And on the final boss of the second C. So close to perfect victory, guys. We were so close. It's all right, man. It happens. Thank goodness I have three lives and not one, though. Jeez, maybe I should only do one. Should I only do one life? I might just do only one life, actually. Let's do it. Let's do only one life. What's the worst that could happen? <sighs> well, after suffering that painful defeat, it's time to take on the third C. We got two points now. Oh my gosh. Well, let's spin the default spin really quickly. Let's see. Oh, we got spike again, dude. Like, what is uh, I haven't gotten actually did I get ice? I think I have gotten ice this video. I think I've gotten every I think I've gotten every fruit here. So I can't be too upset, but get me away from spike, man. All right, so cool thing, right? Is after this, we have six bosses left in this video. We have three leopard slots, one spider, and two shadow. So, of course, that's six. We can save the, the fruit that we currently have for those battles, I don't think using one of our slots against stone is wise. He's probably easily the weakest boss in this entire C. So we're going to, we're going to use Spike. I mean, we don't really have a choice. I could use Falcon because I still have three of those, but let's be real. We're not using them. And I really want to save my points for a potential boss skip on maybe beautiful pirate or longma, but we'll have to see. We get 225 stats though. All right, so we get 225 stats right now. So I'm going to put 65 into blocks roots finish that up and then we get another 160 which i'll put into melee this time because our energy is starting to show the issues right now let's do this bro start off with summoning some spikes spiky barrage and then into the spiky ball yep use all of the moves that you gotta use gangy whoa 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 whoa! i'm not liking all the damage he's doing right now why does he i forgot he did that like he could spam those bullets bro okay yeah so he really just spams his little bullet shots so i just have to make sure that i play around that more so just shoot just shoot there you go he shot so we're gonna use or kit his intervals are completely random he doesn't have like a specific time that he shoots he just kind of does whatever he wants to do kind of rock with that okay okay we're playing we're i'm starting to adapt to his play style a little bit i i came into this a little stupidly i'm not gonna lie my brain was kind of turned off it's coming back though guys the brain is turning back on thank goodness i have a defense stat or else i would not be having a fun time right now Ooh. okay he's on red dodge that yep he's gonna shoot again right about now yep spiky ball and dodge that yeah you thought you were slick with
with that one. I saw it in your eyes. You're like, yeah, I'm gonna get him this time. Nope, get out of my game, buddy. All right, so we're about to fight Island Empress, and I can choose here whether or not I want to use Shadow or String. I actually don't know which one I want to choose. Um, I feel like String will be better against Kilo Admiral, so I'm gonna use Shadow. I'm not super keen on this. This might not be my best play, but we're gonna we're gonna do it. Does Umbridge do damage? Oh, ooh, it does. It does a good amount of damage too. I low-key forgot. Okay, well, I'm gonna just chill up here. I also get 375 stats, which I'm gonna put all into defense. I'm not taking no risks with you, buddy. She uses love fruit. So yeah, we gotta be a little smart here. She did a little bit of damage. I'll just take that back with Nightmare Leash. And we're gonna explode with a Corvus Torment. Yup, yup. We'll just leave her in the domain. We're gonna Umbridge as well. Kind of stack that damage. Shades Nest. Dodge all of her arrows and get her HP back. Yeah, energy is proven to be a little annoying here. It's okay though. Corvus Torment. Keep her inside the domain. What is she doing? She's like broke. Okay, bro. Are you for Rizzy? We're just gonna Umbridge. Yep. She's gonna break us out, but that's fine because I can Corm Cormus? <laughs> Corvus Torment into the Nightmare. I missed my Nightmare Leash. Rich in rest in peace, my free HP. That's all right though. Honestly, I could even tank a hit here. Oh, she just missed. Well, that sucks. Yeah, she, she can't really do much in my uh, domain experience. Expansion. Just gonna umbrage at this point. She already used her like moves. What is going on? I'm lagging out the wazoo. I'm lagging out the wazoo, but even with the lag, you don't got a chance, buddy. I'm gonna end this with a Corvus Torment. Yes, sir. Ski. Anyways, it's time to go ahead and fight Kilo Admiral. Let's spin the wheel. I mean, I'm probably gonna use my spider fruit against her, but if I got like flame, I wouldn't mind. Smoke? Mm -hmm. Smoke wouldn't be that bad. I don't think it's really worth it though. Like I have no reason not to use spider here. We got 225 stats here as well. Putting that into melee. Let's get that energy up. And uh, yeah, we may as well just start. Thermal laceration, put her into prison while we hit her with the eternal whites. Heavenly pun. Yeah, she's getting hit with the whole combo and thermal. I missed. Yeah, spider pretty much hard counters Kilo Admiral, which is why I wanted to use it against her. Yeah, this is pretty much a free fight. She's about one HP, so I'm just gonna wrap this up with a nice eternal white. GG's. Okie dokie. So we got five points right now. I can choose to either roll for a random epic fruit or just save my points. Again, I do have one boss skip for this C. I just don't know who I want to use it on. I feel like with Shadow, I can beat Captain Elephant. And I feel like Leopard, I can beat the final three bosses as well. So yeah, I mean, I guess I'll just save my points. Should I even bother? I don't even know, bro. I'm just gonna use Shadow against Captain Elephant. We got 375 stats. I'm gonna put about 300 into defense and 75 into melee. And let's do this, bruh. Samba Rebellion. Nice. Nightmare Leech. Put him in the domain. Samba Rebellion. Yeah. <laughs> Honestly, there's a part of me that even wanted to save Shadow for like a later boss and just use Leopard against him. But I don't know. They're both really good fruits. Leopard is obviously way better. I don't know, man. Shadow against bosses is kind of crazy. All right, he's getting pretty weak. I am taking a little bit of damage right now, though, which I'm not a huge fan of. Get hit with that. That's fine. I need to hit this nightmare. I just missed. Okay, Corvus Torment. I'm I'm running a little bit. Let's just umbrage in the shit or uh, the Corvus Torment. And there we go. Okay, <laughs> look at my HP. It, it was starting to get a little worrying at the end there because I missed some of the moves that I needed to hit. It's all right, though. Ooh. Okay, so I have six points right now. I don't want to use any of my boss skips, though. Is that bad of me? I really just want to. I just want to lock in, bro. Is that bad? All right, I'm adding another thing to the shop. When you guys see it in a video, it'll already have been a thing, but I'm gonna make it so three points, you can buy an extra life, but you can only do that once per seat. So I'm gonna use three of my points to buy an extra life. So now I have two lives. The reason I'm doing this is because I'm scared. <laughs> I'm very scared. I do have Leopard for the next three bosses, but I wanna be extra careful because these bosses, they mean business sometimes. We get 225 stats here though. So mm, I'm not even gonna bother doing the math, bro. I'm gonna just put 200 in there and two, uh, 25 in there. All right, beautiful pirate. It's time. I'd be lying if I said I wasn't scared. Let's do this stuff. Oh, I did not mean to turn that on. All right, body flicker. Yes, sir. We just gotta, we gotta egg on the damage, bro. We gotta egg on the damage. Dodge and weave, dodge and weave. All right, I dodged his move right there. Bro, this fruit is so spammy. I have absolutely laid the damage on this guy, but he is still in his first form and we're still taking damage. All right, he's in his second stage now. 
still absolutely terrified right now. You can definitely tell by the way I'm playing. I'm scared. I'm on half HP already, dude. This no hockey thing is really scary. <laughs> Why did I buy a boss skip? Why did I buy a boss skip, bro? I'm already almost out of energy. He's like halfway through his second stage. I mean, I am, I am trying to fight for my life right now. All right, he's a little lower than half. Come on, man. My energy, bro. I did have extra stat, like points to put into potential stats for energy too. I'm like, maybe I should have used that. Okay, he's on red now. Let's just get our energy up a little bit. Throw a couple moves out. All right, he used his ability. Let's go in. This is our time. Cool, cool, cool. Get him away from me, bro. I don't want to deal with him. All right, I'm, I'm, I'm making it on. I'm making it on. Let's go. Bro's on one HP. Finger revolver. Let's go. Oh my gosh, dude, that was stressful. That was so stressful. I know to you guys, it's like, oh, that battle is so easy, you fool. But listen, with no observation hockey and just like the stress of knowing like if I die twice from this point on, like the whole run is over. I got to restart from the beginning of the see. It is not good on my heart, bro. I'm just letting you guys know right now I have four points. If I die once to log because I have two lives, so I can die twice. If I die once, I'm using a boss skip. I don't want to not have a life for a cake win. So if I die, I'm using a boss skip. Let's do this, bro. Logma, it's your time to perish, I hope. With Logma, you pretty much just have to like really stick onto him because if you don't he's just gonna like do a lot of damage and you won't be able to do anything anyways he is a pretty easy boss if you can kill him before he starts using moves once he starts using moves that's when things get a little difficult but he doesn't have a lot of hp he does heal fast though so again you really gotta just egg it on him bruh why is he still outside of his room get back into your room bruh yeah that was super easy that was that was super easy the main reason i was scared is because you know llama could just he could be really cheesy sometimes and i I just didn't want to deal with it. Final fights against K Queen. We got two lives. Technically, I could just skip this, right? But hey, I have five points. Who knows? Maybe I'll get Kitsune or something really cool. So let's go ahead and spin. Come on, bro. Give me a da, 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 da. rumble is not gonna cut it. Yeah, nah. I mean, rumble is really good. Don't get me wrong, but over leopard, no. Ooh, okay, K Queen, you ready? I don't think she's ready. I don't think I'm ready. Let's go. Let's just hit her with the main combo. Yes, sir. Free 21k damage for literally doing nothing i'm a little less nervous than the previous battles because i do have two lives but i'm already about to die okay i'm playing way too aggressive right now we need to slow it down the video is not over until it's over and k queen is not an easy ba battle so i need to stop acting like she is i am i'm honestly about to die i am i am honestly about to die it's pretty difficult to dodge her little purple laser beam that she's got i died in my okay first death of the third c i still have one life after this so if i if i die right now I can fight one more time, but then I'm dead for good. Let's, let's not mess up this challenge, man. Let's not get too aggressive. Yep. Dodge all of this. Dodge all of those. Finger revolver. Oh, we are dodging all of the moves right now. Let's go. End game, baby. Oh, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> Dude, I just want to end this. The stress is over. We've done it. We've won. We've died a total of two times in this video, but it's okay because we still managed to pull the dub in the end. And as usual, first boss is Mr. Gorilla King. So let's go ahead and spin or wheel of common and uncommon swords. And we're going to be using the dual katanas. So against the Gorilla King, we only get 75 stats. So we're going to do melee sword and defense. And here we go. We got our dual katana nice and ready. So let's go ahead and fight the Gorilla King. We're going to hit him with the whirlwind. Okay. Little projectile. Going to get close. Hit the tornado. Get a swing and back up. Our damage is, uh, it's all right. I mean, it's definitely not great. I'm going to need better swords than this. There you go, though. Got him to you use his little smack the ground type of move so now we can play a little bit closer because he's not going to use that for a little bit let's back up though yup <laughs> bro completely predicted we should be able to finish him off with this next set unless i miss all of my moves like a fraud and there we go dodge that our energy is kind of low but it's all right tornado and then finish him off with a whirlwind first boss beat which also means we got our first point but let's go ahead and swing at two pirate village against bobby we get another 90 stats so we could do 30 in each of these Let's go ahead and spin the wheel. Let's see what we get. Come on now. Give me something crazy. Dual Katata again? Uh, <laughs> okay. I mean, I'm not too upset about this. Well, let's try this. I'm pretty sure Bobby sometimes has some immunity to swords, so we got to be a little smart. Wait, where is he? How did he get stuck in the wall like this? Oh, hecky nah. 
Nah. Wait, this is like perfect. Oh, yep. Yeah, I'm a genius. What can I <laughs> What's crazy is, okay, no, he got out of the wall. No, I'm doing zero damage though. I know like I'm investing my stats a little weird and my swords don't have like a lot of mastery or anything, but oh my gosh, bro, we do no damage. I refuse to lose one of my life, so Bobby, bro. Ooh, weave, tornado, and there we go. Oh my gosh, wait, that actually got a little scary for a second there. This challenge is not gonna be easy, is it? We're at Middletown. We also have two points now. So uh, yeah, for the next three battles, we are not allowed to get a roll. So hopefully whatever, I get to fight Mr. Shark Man can be pretty good because we're gonna need it. Twin hooks. Twin hooks is really good. That's the best weapon on here, I'm pretty sure. Let's go, bro. Yes. Twin hooks is huge. Mastery 317. All right, though. Sky Cyclone into the prehistoric punt. Wait, I forgot my stats. Oh my gosh. Typical Acer forgetting his stat investments. It's all right, though. We get 45 per stat and we're just gonna pretend like, uh, you know, I did not do something so stupid. Yeah, that was not me, bro. I don't know what you're talking about as you can see though saw does do some pretty solid damage so we got to make sure that we make him use all this whoa whoa, whoa 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 calm down listen we can solve this like civil human beings even though you are not a human being at all yeah i'm getting a little too aggressive the good thing is though is that i have like pretty substantially high defense but that does not mean that i should just stay in his face the whole time i'm gonna have to play this super safe he's gonna use his move here bro just use it just use it all right man. i'm gonna play this super safe i literally i have no choice bro if saw hits me like two times i die all right, use that little move, Sky Cyclone, and he's out of here. Okay, thank goodness we got Twin Hooks. Honestly, I feel like if we got any other weapon, that would have been very difficult to deal with. But now we got three points, and we have to go ahead and fight Yeti. And against Yeti, we do get 10 stats per. We get 30. And let's see what we're going to roll. Oh, Cutlass. Ooh, ooh. That's, that's uh, it's definitely one of the weapons of all time. It's fine, though. Not really. I'm lying. I'm coping, but it's all right. Quiet Rush, Air Slash. Damage is there, kind of, if you uh think it's opposite. Day? Yeah, this challenge is gonna be ridiculous. I can't even imagine having to use swords like these against the end game bosses. Okay, all right, bro. Dude. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I greatly, deeply apologize for my sins. Bro, just hit me with a five piece make double combo. All right, we got him to use his little floor, hit the ground. Wham, wham, wham. All right, get him to use it again. Or heal it is a little low right now, but it's all right. Easy strategy, bro. We just get going for the quick slice and then we dash out. Wait, hold on. I might be honest something here. Ooh, ooh, I'm not onto anything. I'm onto nothing. Bro's onto nothing. Wait, why is this like an actual boss battle? I've never fought Yeti before and the battle actually be kind of difficult. Hold on. Come on. Air slash. Let's go. Did I just get very happy because I beat the Yeti? Yeah. Okay. I got good news though, guys. After this battle, we will have five points so we can roll for an actual good sword. Albeit, uh, yeah, we can only use that sword for three battles. We get 10 steps. That's per for Mr. Vice oh, <coughs> Mob Leader. <coughs> you didn't hear me say that. Let's go ahead and see what weapon we gotta fight him with, though. Please give me something good. Dual Katana again? Leave me alone. Listen, I'm not a dual katana hater, but there are, you know, like four other swords on the wheel. I do prefer it over like katana or cutlass, though, so I can't be too upset. Luckily, though, Mob Leader is kind of a bum. He doesn't really have any cool moves. He kind of just walks around with a sword and acts like he's cool. So yeah, we're just gonna we're gonna be nice and comfortable and do a little bit of boxing against bro and i don't even gotta move bro i'm gonna stand perfectly still ggs vice admiral it's your time to go but before that we gotta go ahead and roll or for a sword almost said for cash it in my five points here to see what kind of sword we can get please give me something good because i need something for like i don't know saber no no dude come on and let's see what sword that we gotta use against vice admiral man i am not happy about getting pulled force for him bro that is not the sword that i wanted at all dude katana leave me alone please i don't remember if i invested my stats or not but i'm gonna do it again i i think i'm over and eh, well, it'll be fine but i think i should go ahead and explain how the sword rolling system works just in case you don't know whenever we ro roll one of those special swords we get to keep that in our pocket for about three uses so i'm so right now the pull force form has about three lives so if i wanted to use it against vice admiral we'd only be able to use it two more times after that and that lasts for the whole video bro so we got to be a little careful with it, but it is po, po first form. So I'm not very happy about that. Go ahead and fight the Vice Admiral though. Let's do this. Honestly, bro, it's not looking good. What is this damage? Why am I doing negative damage? Just my stats, right? Yeah, I have the stats that I should have, but I feel like I do no damage. Technically speaking, he does have better weapon. He has he has a triple cut up, bro. I'm lagging. Y'all saw that, right, bro? I have the Squidward hitbox. I pushed him through the wall. 
what is going on? I feel like I'm gonna lose a life here. <laughs> There's just too many things going on wrong with this. Dodge, bam, whirlwind. Why are you stuck in the wall again? You know, I'm starting to notice a consistent theme with this video. Oh my gosh, he's even further up in the wall. How does this even happen? Wham, wham, whirlwind again. Wait, is he upstairs? Wait, there's an upstairs here? Oh, like this area, bro, stop. What are you doing? This has been one of the moments of old time, bro. This has actually just been one of the fights ever. This hardcore mode challenge has definitely been, uh, it's definitely been a thing. Bro, I cannot lose a single life, especially before Saber, because that's when it's gonna get a little too impossible. Ooh, let's, let's go, let's go. No, 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 relax, 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 relax. Take a breather, bro, it's chill. Just kidding, he's alive? Okay, this is not good for my health. This challenge is not good for my health at all, bro. Well, for Saber, we get 70 stats per. This is not good, dude. This is not good at all, man. I, I'm not even gonna try to sit here and be comedic. Like, this is terrible. I'm gonna roll my wheel because it does have twin hooks. If I get twin hooks, I'll keep it. If I don't, yeah, no, dude. I'm not using Katana against Saber, bro. Pole Force 4 may not be the best weapon in the game, but it's definitely better than Katana. All right, man. Oh, I'm just not happy about this. This is so bad. It's okay, though. Let's fight Saber, one of the hardest, if not the hardest, first C boss. Let's do this, though. Explosive clap. I can't even use lightning rain in here. I can't even use lightning rain in here. That's fantastic. And I'm lagging. Yay. Yeah. Ooh. What is with the lag? Dude, okay, we're not counting that, are we? Are we gonna count that, bro? I'm in negative a billion ping right there. What just happened? Whatever, I'll say that took a heart, but I'm not gonna lie to you guys. The, the video might just end here, bro. <laughs> it might just be over. I don't know how I'm supposed... Look at his damage. What is this, dude? Am I fighting a juggernaut? Okay, yeah, yeah. You know what? Oh, this sucker heals too, bro. This is so unlucky. Nah, 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 boo, boo. You can't catch You can definitely catch me. You can 100% catch me. I just gotta keep dodging. Just gotta, I, I can't use a move until he's... Like, how am I supposed to dodge? Watch that, bro. This room is one by one. Explosive cloud. Keep running. Don't stop running, Acer. Don't stop running. Guys, I've done it. I figured out my secret strategy. Run in circles and use explosive cloud because I can't do anything else because I'm terrified for my life. All right, he's on half HP. Wait, there might actually be a chance. No, 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 no. I, I got frozen in the wrong area, bro. See, this is why it's hard for me to narrate during these fights, bro. Okay, okay. We're hitting the combos. Wait a minute, guys. The dream might actually not be over. The dream oh wait i'm at ooh, i'm like ninja oh my gosh wait i'm actually doing it okay no this is not even me doing a youtuber thing i real deal did not think i could win that bro i'm actually losing my mind well we lost one heart albeit that should not have counted and i really don't want to count it but i'll count it for the name of the game so we have two more lives for the remainder of the first c so yeah we gotta be very careful here i did expect to lose at least one against uh, mr shane himself but whoa dude <sighs> that's the prison though for the three page uh, let's see what we're gonna go ahead and fight this warden with twin hooks i mean that's kind of overkill but i'll take it but against warden we get 20 points per let's go ahead here twin hooks yeah into the prehistoric punt okay yeah where we are laying it down i mean having a mastery 300 weapon is just it's just night and day and there we go let's see what we got fight chief warden with looking like dual katana again Yay. I wonder if the game knows that there's, there's a shark saw and like an iron mace and a triple katana. Well, we get 10 stats per. And let's do this, bro. Whirlwind. Tornado. Wait, why did Chief Warden Loki do damage? And why am why is he taking no damage from me? All right, I glitched him through the wall. Perfect. This is exactly where I wanted him to be. I'm joking. It's not. I'm definitely starting to notice that Whirlwind has a little bit of a tendency of putting people through walls. I'm also starting to notice that my Wi-Fi is on fire. My router is literally exploding right now what's going on i no no i just i just died to i just died to chief i just died to chief i just died to chief warden i just died to chief warden i don't think this i don't think we're gonna win this one guys <laughs> it might just be over we're only like halfway there on bosses bro we gotta still fight like thunder god and all these other people so it's not really like what i'm actually sick to my stomach like why is this actually so difficult why is he taking Taking no damage. Bro, he, okay, no, 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 no. I'm just gonna use abilities for the next couple. Okay. I must die again. 
Well, let's go see what we have to fight Swan with. Dude, I am not having a good time. We got three points, so we can't roll for a kill sword. Twin hooks? I will take twin hooks. I thought I had to, was going to have to use pole, but I actually don't. Okay, this is fine. 10 stats per again. Honestly, I'm probably going to stop going into melee now. I don't think I really need that much energy. Defense and sword, they, they need more loving, bro. This is not all right. All right, though. Sky Shikloat into the prehistoric pot. Literally the best combo of all time, bro. I love that. Oh, yeah, that's damage. Oh, yeah. And he's going to use his little move. Mm -hmm. I'm on to you, buddy boy. Going from dual katana to twin hooks is actually the funniest thing ever. They're not even in the same caliber of weapon. Yup, prehistoric punts. I mean, he should just be done here. Oh, dodge that. Get out of my game, buddy. Get a little respectful, though, because we got to go ahead and fight the Magma Admiral. After this battle, though, we will have five points to roll for another weapon. So it's looking like we're going to get twin hooks again. Don't get me wrong. I'm not completed at all, but I literally think my wheel spin is broken. I've been getting the same weapons. Yeah, as I said, we're going to ignore melee for a little bit because I feel like we're just doing no damage with the weaker weapons. So we're going to go 165 into defense, 165 into sword. And let's do this, bro. Sky cycle. Okay, well, for this fight, I got to use hockey. Don't know why it's yellow. Why is it yellow? We dodge those. Yes, sir. Ski. We're going to get nice and comfortable because, yeah, we can, we can take some hits now. We can take some hits and we can dish the damage as well. You know what? We're boxing like men, magma. Admiral. Never mind. Never mind. I'm a little boy. I'm, I'm a boy. Wham, wham, a baby. All right. <laughs> Actually, I was nice. All right. We're getting closer to the end of the first sea. We, 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 we got a little bit left to go, guys. Let's see what we have to fight the Fishman Lord with. We do have five points as well, so we can roll for a cool weapon. Please, just give me two hooks again. No. Okay, we're not using. We're not using triple katana. I'm sorry. I don't know what we're going to get, but we're not using triple katana. So let's cash in or five points here. And let's see. What, what weapon are we going to get? Ooh. Oh, this is the good area. Bicento. I will take Bicento. I will take Bicento. All right. So, yeah, we're definitely going to use Bicento against this guy. I could use pole, but since it's like a closed area, it's not really the best idea to use it. And uh, we get 225 stats here. So I'm actually going to do 113. It should be like 112.5, but I'm just going to do 113 for defense and sword. And here we go, bro. Windbreaker. Oh, into the quake sphere. Wait, that brought him towards me and we hit him with the shlombo, dombo, wombo, clombo. Dodge that try. Right in dash. Yes, sir. We're getting nice and comfortable. Windbreaker again. Yeah, this is a weapon. All right. This is a weapon. All right. He's already in his second stage. Let's go. Wait. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm too close. I'm too close. I'm too close. Let's not get too overconfident. I mean, we can literally beat him just by using or abilities. So there's no reason for us to really just be in his face all the time. All right. Just one swing. Okay. When we get Quake Sphere, we should be able to just win. Dodge that. Yes, sir. Ski. Quake Sphere. Why is he alive? Windbreaker. Oh, and we got to try it. Let's go, dude. Yeah. We're back in upper sky i said back for some reason this is the first time we're here in this video i accidentally spun the wrong wheel so whatever i get this would have been what i would have gotten okay i would have gotten gravity cane sadly this does not count so let's spin the real wheel that we were supposed to spin if we get like twin hooks i'll fight with it okay dude i really think my wheel spin is broken this is like the best way to be broken though i mean twin hooks is like better than my sento bro we get another 113 stats though so let's do defense and sword and let's go mr whisper man yeah. whoa i just got hit by his bazooka it's all right though honestly as long as we dodge his bazooka move we're perfectly good we could like prehistoric punt all right he's low enough now for me to not have to be super greedy to use all your moves bam bam into the sky cyclone ggs Ooh. all right upper sky time to fight the thunder god i have one more heart bro thunder god and then cyborg we're so close to beating the first c guys we can do it. let's see what our weapon is going to be though worst comes to worst i will definitely use one of the ones that we have i'm totally fine using my side. I am not using Katana. I am not fighting this dude with Katana, bro. You're crazy. So the question is, should I use my pole or my Sento? Pole is definitely worse than my Sento, I'd say. Maybe not. They're both like decent. I feel like pole might not be the best one to use against the electric guy, though. So just in the name of the game, I'll use my Sento. So we only have one more use of this after this battle. So we got to make sure we use it wisely. Let's go, though. Windbreak. Okay, I need hockey. Okay, or damage is, or damage is kind of decent. Or damage is kind of decent. We dodge, though. Going for a couple of whams. Make sure we dodge all his electric moves right there i forgot my stats bro i'm so shilly all right with our new and improved stats i feel a lot better to beat this guy now oh we dodged those come on quake sphere there we go okay just one more battle one more battle and i can rest a little easier knowing that my lives will be refreshed cyborg what kind of weapon do we gotta use against you come on give me please give me something decent can i beat him with iron maze i don't think so i mean maybe is it worth the risk though at the end of the first See, 
Akina. So we get 150 stats per. And I think for this one, we're going to use another life on our pull first form. So now on our pull and our Bicento, we only have one more use left with them. Let's do this though. Explosive cloud. A little bit of lag there, but it's it's not okay. I was going to say it's okay. It's just not. Dodge all his little bullets. Explosive cloud. Bro, look at this. Am I a robot? I'm actually being actively nerfed, yet I still haven't lost a challenge. If this doesn't put me in goat status, I don't know what will. All right, man, we're both on half. I thought he used his bullets there. What? Did he just put his hand up for no reason? What, what are you doing, buddy? Man, I really wish I got pull second form. I'm not going to lie. Pull first form is still kind of cool, but the damage is definitely a little less than the second form, and my second form is enchanted. Maybe I should do a video where I enchant all my weapons. That might, that might, that might be a good idea. Oh my gosh, I lagged at the worst point. <laughs> He's so weak, though. Okay, I'm going to I'm gonna play super passive. I'm going to stay all the way back here. We got explosive cloud. Let's just use that from here. Yes, Sursky. Light and rain. We're going to keep it nice and passive, bro. We got to be safe. Explosive cloud. He's literally dead here to light and rain. Yep, light and rain. I missed one. Okay, just one more swing. Oh my gosh, dude. This might be the most stressful challenge I have ever done. For Ice Admiral, though, since he doesn't exist, I like to give myself the stats for it anyway, so we'll get 38 for defense and sword. Should have been 37.5, but you know, I'm a cheater. Get me out of this. Get me out of the first C, man. Let's go to the second C. Oh my gosh, this has been this has been very intense on my, my mental health. Now that we're in the second C, though, I'm actually going to give myself a roll here. We should have four points, but because of the Ice Admiral, and I like to consider him like a bean, even though we, we don't fight him. But he myself five points. So, you know, I, I, I'll just do a roll. Please, clutch up. Give me CDK, bro. Give me CDK, please. That is not CDK. Coco? I will take Coco, though. Would have liked Midnight Bald, but, you know, I'm fine with Coco. For Mr. Diamond, we get 75 stat per. We're ni nice. We're in the 1,000s now. See what kind of weapon we get, though. Come on, give me twin hooks, bro. At this point in the game, if we're not getting twin hooks, it's just over. All right, Katana is not... I'm not fighting. I'm not fighting Diamond with Katana. We got to be very careful with our weapons, though. Oh, so I'm definitely not going to use one of my Coco lives or uses, whatever. I'm not using one of those. So I could either get rid of Hole permanently or by Senso permanently, or I could try to fight him with Katana. I just don't think that's a good idea. I'm going to save by Senso. Oh, should I? Yeah, I'll, I'll save by Senso. I really don't know which one does the mo most damage. Like, I'm kind of just doing things right now. So we're going to use our last Poe life, though. It's fine. Technically speaking, this is when the Poe would have became a second form anyways. Let's fight uh, Mr. Diamond. He's got to make sure we dodge his little dashes. He has the old long sword, which is not really good. So I'll take that. All right. Yeah, the, the high defense stat is definitely clutching up for me right now. This explosive cloud. Come on. How are you alive? Okay, I am. Bro, what is this lag? I'm not losing a life to diamond, bro. I am not losing a life to diamond. All right, Mr. Jarame. Oh. See what kind of weapon we have to fight him with. Please give me like, honestly, if it's not like shark saw or twin hooks, triple katana. I feel like I can do with triple katana. Could be a bad idea, but we're going to, we're going to use triple katana. Why not? Also, I just realized that I'm allowed to use armament hockey now that we're in the second C. So see, seeing some of you guys' comments, some people are telling me to do armament hockey second C, observation third C. So we're going to use armament, or I guess you could say uh, hockey in the second C. I completely forgot. I'm actually actively nerfing myself. That's cool. We get 150 stats for defense and sword. Yeah, we're or stats are starting to feel a lot better now. Oh, the little green, yellowy hockey is kind of cool. Anyways, so air slashes, barrage, and to the violent rush and yeah no this damage is actually pretty decent i cannot hate on triple katana at all bro this is solid demoglios wait hold on we're taking we're taking a little bit of damage though dodge that yes sir ski all right i think we went from this position with a violent rush into the air slash barrage but bro loki kind of tanked that for a second i see you jeremy it's fajita's time to shine let's see what kind of sword we get please bro please give me something good twin hooks wait anything from here is fine twin hooks yes dude yes Oh, yeah. Twin hooks with the armament hockey. You love to see it. We got 113 stats per. Let's just invest these bad boyos. Let's go, bro. Sky cycle. How did I do that? Prehistoric punt? Okay, at least that one worked. All right. Oh, that dodge was swift. We're definitely doing good damage, but honestly, even with our high defense stat, he's starting to hurt a little bit. And buddy, buddy is starting to do a little bit of too much damage for my liking. Oh, here's his meteors. Took him a while to use that, actually. 
bro my cyclone use what is going on bro i'm missing everything in the book you search up on the dictionary miss it is just me and my moves uh oh wait i think we win though this is this is just such a bad challenge for my health why did i give myself hearts bro why do i have lives hey well i'm here to let me roll a throat throat a throat be cool if i got a kitsune nah, you know i'll take it honestly if i was subscribed to acer i would have gotten a kitsune fruit so that's probably why you should drop a like and subscribe not me though i hate that acer guy mr dawn swan we get another 113 per though and let's roll the wheel of fortune wait wrong series i'm not fighting <laughs> you're you're actually smoking something if you think i'm fighting dawn swan with a cutlass i could use by sento here oh is it better to use coco i think i think seeing how difficult dawn swan is coco usage here is definitely warranted so sadly we only got two lives left on coco but it's it's it's, it's a necessary evil bro injection shot oh this is this is the tasty type of damage let's just keep more distance yes sir use your move like that injection shot and there's a second form the one thing that makes don swan really difficult is unlike other bosses who have like cooldowns on their moves in total he can use multiple moves they have their own natural cooldown which makes it a little difficult our damage is super high though we're doing a lot of damage that's i'm really glad that i invested my extra melee stats into sword because as you're seeing the extra energy is not very necessary but the extra defense definitely is no 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 i lagged dude look at dude don't kill me this lag is my number one opponent bro my number one uh, nothing is going after me more right now than the lag not even these bosses we won wait i just got swan glasses did i even have those before i, I didn't even have those before <laughs> let's go i'm equipping those bro let me see how snazzy i look um um it's not really working with it but you know it's still cool i don't even know what swan glasses do i've never gotten those before that's cool how i've done all these beating blocks for videos yet i've not gotten that drop is nuts to me oh okay so it makes me faster my damage is up and i got lower cooldowns and i'm tankier and i got a dang these are busted but after beating mr smoke admiral yeah i definitely didn't have to check to see what his name was we can get a cool little roll let's see what kind of weapon we got to fight him with if i get you know there's a couple weapons i feel like i could fight smoke admiral with triple katana honestly being one of them i think i could beat him with triple katana we got 225 stats per and let's equip or triple katana air slap i need my hockey all right oh, okay i'm lagging again dude this video has been lag central i've never lagged so much in my life and this is literally the worst video to lag on our damage is good our strategies are good our brain is ginormous however the lag is indomitable it cannot be beaten slowly but surely though i'm starting to master my negative ping it's giving me a power unknown to man all right i'm blind but i feel like i'm doing well yeah we're doing good we're doing good oh fact that i i mean i don't want to jinx it so i'm gonna beat him first all right the fact that we haven't even needed to use observation hockey yet we're doing so well is honestly really like inspiring bro awakened ice admiral time though and we have five points so let's cash them in really quickly what kind of sword are we gonna get oh this is the good area yes yes okay we're saving that for the big boys at the end so we still have nine or six lives left with our weapons in total and we got nine bosses so i'm still gonna roll or common and uncommon wheel because i don't want to use my lives if i don't have to and if i can get something good i i know i can beat awaken ice ever with shark saw i don't know if i can do wicked oh, dude no i was so close i'm not trying katana it might be possible it really might be i just don't want to do it should i do it for the name of the game where we only have two more bosses left in the first seat let's do it for the name of the game we got 375 stats per and here we go boys here we go i also just realized i'm pretty sure this is the first time that we're getting the katana for this whole video and we got it against a well maybe we got it before and i just never used it i actually don't remember let's try this bro i missed quiet rush it's already over yeah this this damage is decent though hold on a minute because we got such high stats it's very easy to die to, to awaken ice admiral though he's a he's a very strong boss all right stay back how did i even get hit by that he's on half i am frozen do not punch me he punched me oh wait i'm actually holding my own oh is he hitting me from back there quiet rush i missed all right bro i'm coming up here air slash from the skies i'm missing every single one of my moves at literally the worst time air slash stay back could we win with the quiet rush into the normal attacks let's go i actually can fight people with the normal katana that's nuts tide keeper time let's spin the wheel let's spin the wheel triple katana mm -hmm. oh, 
we get 113 stats per. Nice, we're in the 2000s now. I don't know how I feel about this. Honestly, though, I don't know if I have a better weapon than Triple Katana, other than like Drill, Triple Katana, and Coco. I guess my Sento would be better too, huh? But I don't know if they're significantly better enough to the point at where like I'd want to use them. And we still have three lives. So this is the final boss. I think we could do this. Let's try this though. Let's not get too overconfident. Let's be nice and humble, y'all. Air slashes. Yes, sir. Okay, our damage feels a little weak. Oh, I'm not gonna lie. Our damage feels... Eh, actually, it's not too bad. Oh, there's the sea beast, bro. I really am expecting to lose at least one life here. What's he gonna use his laser? Oh, he didn't go for laser first. He went for the pellet move. All right, he went back into water. He went back into the water. Violent rush. Wait, um, this, this is gonna be a little close. All right, dodge his little pellets. We gotta stay this far or else we'll get hit by his roar. All right, he went back into the water. Let's go. Wait, I'm so weak. I always barely can make it through beating this guy. All right, he went for scream. He went for scream. He's probably gonna go for pellets then. I don't think he's gonna laser. He went for double scream. Double scream. Wait, there's a chance. No, laser. No, I, I like it. Whoa, no. Where even is he? Oh, he's over here. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Oh my gosh, get me out of here. Get me out of here. Get me go, 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 they thought it couldn't be done. They thought I could not go through the entire second say without dying once. But I made it happen. I truly am the best block. Okay, I'm lying. First third C boss is Mr. Stone. Even if we fail the challenge now, I'm satisfied with where I got, you know? I'm, I'm happy. I feel great. Let's see what kind of normal weapon we can get, though. If we don't get anything, like, if I get triple katana again, dude, I have not gotten Iron Mace or Shark Saw this entire video. Kind of interesting. I'll use triple katana. I think I could definitely win. Plus, we get observation hockey now and 113 stats per let's do this bro i definitely feel like with true or a normal triple katana sorry we could do this okay wait this is actually a little bit more difficult than i expected it's because i'm playing a little too aggressive because my damage is a little low i definitely think this is possible though yeah for sure this is a million percent possible come on stone yes let's go island empress okay this is a, this is a little scary let's roll if we don't get shark saw or not shark saw twin hooks i literally think twin hooks yeah i'm not fighting island empress with the katana i'm so sorry but at this point we have enough like weapon lives to go through the rest of the video so honestly there's not even a point for me to spin this common wheel i think i'm gonna use one of my true triple katana lives because i only need true triple katana for beautiful pirate and longma if i can't get something better ah maybe captain elephant though mm, but i still have coco i'll use true triple katana for captain elephant beautiful pirate and longma i think so we're gonna use coco for for this fight don't know how good of an idea this is but it can't be that bad we get 188 stats for these two though we're getting close to maxing them out that's good but here we go electric stab oh that nice 4700 the maglios so let's get nice and comfortable i should not have gotten so comfortable oh all right she went for her little arrows move which means we could get a little closer all right she's gonna use another love move she's pretty weak not really but she's taking a good amount of damage there's her arrows all right wait wait hold on a minute i'm kind of cooking island empress though come on let's go nice dude nice we're at four points honestly dude i'm just gonna use coco again i don't think it's worth even trying to roll for a different uh sword we get 113 poor so we're gonna do 113 113 we're so close to maxing this out dude all right though electric stab wait this is my last coco life oh wait i should have used my Sento. you know what? I, I i'm just gonna i'm just gonna use my Sento now <laughs> none of you guys can stop me <laughs> yeah i'm gonna use my last by Sento life here i don't want to use coco that's my bad I, I listen i use it for like one hit bro don't don't beat me up. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. Kilo Admiral, you're kind of you're kind of getting cooked. Yeah. Oh, oh, this is abuse. Well, I better enjoy my last little bit of damage that I just did because after this, it's end game time, baby. So we only have one life left on our Coco and three lives left on our true triple katana. Who knows, guys? Maybe we can pull out some crazy RNG with our last and final point roll. No way. Wait, this is crazy though. I just got so lucky. I actually just got so lucky. Okay, so with Dark Blade, I don't even know what to do anymore. I know for a fact I want to fight Longman with Dark Blade because I fought Longman with Dark Blade before and actually won. So I do know it's possible. Beautiful Pirate, I might want to use True Triple. I actually don't know. I don't know. I don't know what to use. I don't think I'm going to use Coco though. I think I'm going to use either Dark Blade or True Triple Katana. What's better against this guy? I'm going to use TTK. I don't know if this is our best bet, but TTK does have Hurricane and I like Dragon Hurricane. Captain Elephant gives us 375. So honestly, bro, 
I'm just gonna do 50 per. I'm not even gonna do the math. We got 275, so I'll just put that in melee. Doesn't, it doesn't really matter at this point, honestly. But oh, okay, let's let's do this, bro. Let's go, Wolf Fang. Okay, good damage, good damage. Having Swan glasses is also definitely helping out a lot more than I probably am willing to admit. Plus, my TTK is enchanted. My Dark Blade is not enchanted, so that's a, that's a pretty big difference between the two. All right, he's super weak. He's probably gonna use prehistoric punt in a second. In a second, one second. Now, okay, there it is. Ooh, I dodged his little tornado move. Let's go. Wait, okay. Wait, guys, we might be doing it. Wolfing rush. Dragon hurricane. I think it's over. Okay, nice. We actually managed to beat Captain Elephant without losing a life. All right, man. We got three more bosses left and we got three lives left. Do I want to use TTK or do I want to use Dark Blade? I'm going to use TTK again. We got 225 stats to put into melee. Again, doesn't really matter, but you never know. Let's do this though, beautiful pirate, bro. Usually I cannot beat this sucker, but with an enchanted true triple katana, maxed out stats on the important stuff, plus swan glasses. It, no, dude, I'm lagging. This is literally, what is this? I just lost half my health bar for nothing. Literally for nothing. I was having a whole inspirational speech and my ping dropped a negative a billion. Yeah, fellas, the challenge might be over here. <laughs> it might actually just be over here. Dude, this sucker does so much damage, bro. He's on half right now. He still hasn't even entered his second stage though. And we are also on half. Yeah, it's, it's not looking looking hot at all bro it's not looking hot at all these bosses they suck man they suck i don't want to end the video i've been having so much fun all right he's in second form now we've healed up a little bit man i wish this game had like potions or something can i drink an instant health pot i mean honestly like i'm not doing too terribly i'm just really worried about him eventually healing up so i'm playing a little bit overly aggressive when i don't really want to at some points oh no my health bar this is so bad okay let's just stay our distance stay distance teleport out i don't really even know what human v3 does honestly i just kind of activated it all right he's on health health he's on half not really half a little above half but he's getting there he's getting there for sure all right now he's officially on about half hp i'm honestly surprised i have not died yet <laughs> i'm honestly really impressed with the fact that i have not died yet because he's doing a lot of damage swan glasses is definitely clutching up for my survivability right now and i'm yapping way too much because now i'm dead it's just over for me i'm cooked oh my gosh bro he's actually Actually so weak bro my i'm actually shaking right now <laughs> i'm actually shaking right now no okay no i this is the worst time for me to lag how did i miss my dragon hurricane wait it did hit him it's not over till it's over baby it's not over till it's over baby we can do this we can do this come on please don't heal don't heal and don't kill me that's all i ask for i'm a simple man i have very little needs but this this is a necessity i can do this dude look at his hp wait i actually think i can do this i actually think i can do this first try wait <gasps> Let's go. Oh my gosh. Oh. <laughs> Dude. All right, though, we're not safe yet. We're not done because we still got to go ahead and fight long, my dude. This is not going to be fun. As you know, he loves to heal himself up and we got three lives. So pretty much three chances to fight this guy. <laughs> Let's try this out, though. 1000 slashes for the start. Oh, yeah. By the way, I'm going to use Dark Blade for this fight. I thought that was pretty obvious, but I, I'm going to say it anyways. All right. He's on half. But again, the thing that I'm most worried about Longma is that he heals at the most random intervals. So sometimes it genuinely can make it impossible to fight him but if we get lucky enough we should be good come on come on just just bully him just bully him stay on him stay on him don't let up don't let up let's go first try longma wait we're kind of going crazy again he takes a lot of damage he's not easy to he's not hard to beat technically it's just that sometimes he'll randomly heal back to full and then uh yeah you'll die but they say okay in my book bro let's go to uh uh ice cream land okay queen gives us 525 stats i i this is like a legendary video bro i cannot believe we're doing this right now. I'm gonna use Dark Blade because I think I fought K Queen with TTK before. I don't think I fought her with Dark Blade before. Let's fight her with Dark Blade. We still got three lives. K Queen does not heal. So as long as we don't play like an absolute idiot, we should be good. All right, she's on half. Let's go. I'm definitely playing a little too hyper aggro. I think that, I mean, honestly, I shouldn't though. I've only died. I haven't died once in the third C and we didn't die in the second C. So if I can flawless second and third C in this hardcore challenge, I'll be so happy. So I shouldn't play too overly aggressive, even though I do have three lives left. 
All right, she's super weak, super, super weak. Let's just make sure that we dodge her next ability. Whatever she goes for, just, just use it, bro. Just, yep, there we go. I've like completely memorized how to beat up K-Queen, so she is always the least of my worries. It's always beautiful Pirate and Logma because they're stupid healing. But let's go, boys. Just start with that missile fist and see that damage. Mm -hmm. 193, a big solid 193. Let's hit that rocket crash and dash away, bro. As we all know, Gorilla King is mad easy. <laughs> this is a very easy battle. So having to start with the weakest fruit against the weakest boss, it, you know, it's kind of like a match made in heaven. You know what I'm saying? Anyways, though, GG easy, too easy, bro. So against Bobby, the fruit we'll be using is the spin fruit. We get 90 stats for this. So let's do 30, 30, 30. And let's do this, bro. Razor wind hit you from the bottom, bro. Pause. Tornado assault and then OB air slasher. Okay, now we got to skedaddle a little bit. We got we to gotta stay back. Razor wind is kind of like a barrage type of move. So we can kind of use it to hold him in place, dodge that, Boom. and then I ram. We just got to stay our distance. We just got to stay our distance. Should be pretty easy. But again, we only have three lives. So we got to be a little bit more careful than I usually am. I'm also probably going to invest more in defense than I typically tend to do. All right. I think a razor wind into air slasher should have him there. Nice. Awesome. Now, this one is actually a little bit more alarming because we have to now fight a pretty difficult boss. We got 135 stats here. Ooh. Well, let's give ourselves 45 stats per frick. This is kind of scary, actually. Okay, okay. We need to, we need to be patient and we need to be uh, smart and uh, calculated. You know what I'm saying? Tackle. I'm not going to lie. This may not be the best fruit to fight this boss with. It's not terrible. If I could at least dodge his sword because I have the chop fruit, that would be sick. But it doesn't work like that for bosses for some reason. All right, let's party into the dance. Oh, wait. Y'all see this combo? Hold on a minute. Bam, into the tackle. Get away from me, little bro. That did a whopping negative damage. Oh, God. Not only are we going to be here for a while. <laughs> not only are we going to be here for a while, but this is not going to be fun, bro. He's got to take advantage of the, the fountain tech, bro. The fountain technique. They don't even know about the, the fountain technique. Nowadays, nobody knows about the fountain technique. <gasps> I got way too close there for a second. Whoa, whoa, dude. Chill, 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 chill. chill. I refuse to let my first loss be one in one of the first three bosses, bro. Sorry, not sorry. That is not happening today. No, 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 no. Back up, back up, back up. Ooh. Oh, we're going to be like battle. Ooh. I don't know why I'm playing so aggressive. It's in my nature. It's in my DNA. I just, I can't stay back and, and wait for him to use his moves. I have to test my combat potential against him. I don't know what's wrong with me. Okay, no, we're, we're slowly but surely starting to heal. Let's just, just keep him at a distance. Keep him at a distance. Hit the dance. Stay on the outskirts. Back up. Yep, there we go. Now use your little Beyblade move, and I'm going to tackle you away. Into the party. You canceled it. Okay. He, did, he didn't feel like getting hit by the party today. I'm sorry. That's going to be your last Beyblade, because now I'm a Beyblade on you, little bro scout, and there's nothing you can do about it. Into the party. Come on. He's still alive. He's going to live after this. Dang, this sucker got HP. It's okay, though. He used his move. Bam. Into the dance. There we go. Whew. That wasn't even close. What are you talking about, Acer? You struggled. I did not struggle. That was easy as pie. Now we got to go fight the Yeti, so we get 30 stats here. All right. So spring fruit is the fruit that we're going to be fighting him with. And this isn't actually a terrible fruit, to be fair. This isn't this isn't a terrible common fruit. It's got a, a, a ton of moves. Nice. Spring Emperor kind of like entered his hitbox, so we started doing his little ground pound move. Yep. Into the spring cannon. Oh, you see that little mini combo? Come on now. What you what do you mean the technicalities, bruh? Listen, man, sometimes I say things that don't make sense, but that doesn't mean it's not sensical. All right, he's weak, though. This is Loki wow. doing a lot of damage. I, I was unfamiliar with your game, Spring Fruit. <laughs> I was so unfamiliar with your game. All right, I think it's Spring Snipe him before he actually ends up getting too close to do his ground stamp. Come on. All right, sick. That was pretty easy, actually. Yeah, they got nothing on us, bro. We might actually be able to do this challenge, guys. It might not It might not be impossible for me. We might have this in the bag. Here we go, though. We have to go ahead and fight Mob Leader with the Bomb Fruit. So we're going to start off by laying some landmines down. I didn't really want to, you know, have you walk over them right now. But, bro, it seems to have a little bit of anger in him. The second I entered the cave, he, he started chasing me down immediately. But this should be so freaking easy, bro. If I lose this, honestly, y'all should take away my Blocks Roots card. I shouldn't even be a Blocks Roots YouTuber anymore. It doesn't even work. Where did he go? Where the frick did he go? What? Where did he go? All right, though. Just, just get out of here, bro. And you know what? I'm going to even hit a self-destruction on your grave. <laughs> Gragatoa. Yeah, that was that was just to assert my dominance. So he knew who, who was in charge of this cave now. All right, though, to try to make it a little bit more different than the last time we did this challenge, I'm actually going to be skipping over a couple of fruits to help the upgrades make it, you know, make a little bit more sense and be a little cooler. So instead of going to like the smoke fruit and then the spike fruit, we're actually going to skip all the way to the flame. 
flame fruit, but this also means that we're gonna have to fight Saber with the freaking falcon fruit. What about that is an upgrade from like the bomb fruit? I don't know, but we're gonna have to see how that'll go eventually. Either way, let's not worry about that right now. Let's just focus on the fact we got the flame fruit against this sucker right here, the vice admiral. Yep, just hit that boy with the combo into the flame destroyer. Yes, sir. Right, though, let's just flame flight, dodge that. Yes, sir. Ski into the fire. You walk through my fire bullets? What the frick do you think you are, buddy? Fire column. Can you just die? I'm not flame destroyer in you. Yep, you're gonna die to these fire bullets, loser. Sorry, I didn't, I didn't mean I didn't mean to call him that. It was I, it was the heat of the moment. Get it? He did he did the moment. He did drop the coat though, so that means we can wear the coat. To be honest, I don't know how much this will help, but I kinda I'm kinda putting that on right now. Here we go. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I don't know if this is gonna be super possible. <laughs> I'm gonna try my best. And nothing's nothing's impossible, right? No, nothing's impossible. Just gonna be fighting Saber with the Falcon fruit. Also, I don't think I gave myself stats for a vice admiral, so let me do that real quick as I also give myself stats to fight Saber. I'm not gonna lie, I got 210 stats. I'm actually not gonna even bother with melee right now. We're gonna we're gonna split it between defense and block suits. We can at least try not to die instantly and also do a little bit more damage. Am I gonna regret that? Potentially, but we're gonna see how this goes. Okay, we used our whole combo, did two damage. That's nice. You'd love to see it. One big problem about Saber is he has he has the Longma disease, bro. He has the Longma disease. That means that if I don't do this correctly, he will heal. And if he heals, bro, I will not be a happy man. I will be a very, very sad man, in fact. The most saddest of sad mans. So far, it's not going too terribly, though. I got, if he catches me, though, I'm cooked. Like, if I let that man tickle me one time, I'm cooked, bro. If I go into that white van, you are never seeing me again. So let's just make sure that does not happen. Just stay or distance. We're kind of laying down the damage, though. Ooh, weave. The thing is, is we have the stats of somebody that's level 200. So even though you can fight Saber way later, we're basically fighting him with the bare minimum stats to fight him with, which is a big problem. So I just just keep weaving. Just, just keep weaving, buddy. Wait, we're kind of cooking Saber right now. I, I was here hyping bro up like this was about to be a difficult battle, but shiver me timbers. I think he's getting cooked. All I need is like one more wind burst into Bone Crusher, and I think he's done so. Yeah, let's see. Bone Crusher? Nope, nope. He still needs one more hit. Dodge. Ooh. Ooh, Ultra Instant. Ooh. Bam. Wait, he's alive? Bam. I'm not gonna lie. I might have gassed Saber up too much. That was actually low-key kind of easy. <laughs> we low-key kind of bodied him. I think giving myself the extra stats of the blocks roots was actually pretty helpful in the long run. I think it made me do a lot more damage than I thought I was gonna do. But maybe, I, maybe I'm uh, like overestimated it. Hey, either way, we still got three lives, bro. We still got three lives. The rest of the first seed should be easy, right? I mean, there's no, there's no way it'll be a challenge. Let's go ahead and equip our ice fruit, though. I guess I'm rocking the wings now. You know what? This is this is a very interesting design character, guys. You like my OC? How does he how does he look? He's kind of chill. We are gonna fight the warden, though, so we need to get ourselves 60 stats. And let's go ahead and do this. Cold storm into the glacial surge, into the frozen dragon. I don't even need to see him to use it. I probably should have because I, I I missed. Wait, why am I doing no damage? Actually, no, never mind. I, I am doing a little bit of damage. I think I just missed a lot of moves because I'm bad. <laughs> I think I think I might have just missed a lot of moves because I'm bad. Let's hit that boy with the frozone, though. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Frozen dragon. This time I won't miss. Yep. Into the cold storm. I'm, I'm going for a couple of hits. We're going to box it a little bit. We're going to do a little bit of box. It might not have been my best idea, but you know, hey, absolute zero. So I can freeze him a little bit. Mm hmm. Into the M1s, into the cold storm. Let's aim that frozen dragon and just keep boxing. Just keep boxing them. There we go. Too easy. All right, though. I'm not going to lie. The last time I fought Chief Warden with the sand fruit, I kind of got cooked. <laughs> so let me try not to get cooked again. It should be impossible to get cooked by this guy, right? Right? It should be impossible to get cooked by this guy. But I will find a way if I get too overconfident. So make sure I don't get too overconfident. Okay, guys? Let's, let's try not to do that today. Come on. Oh, so yes, I also do not have awakened sand fruit. I am actively nerfing myself with this, but hey, we're all good, man. It's all good out here. Ride those sand tornado, and there we go. Okay. Honestly, that battle was not interested at all, but I kept my distance. I minded my business, and uh, you know, I was a very confident young man. Because of that, we, we easily won. So yeah, again, we're gonna be skipping over some fruits just so we could see a more variety of fruits this time. So we're gonna be skipping over dark and diamond and going straight to the light fruit. Oh, look at that with the hockey, bro. This would have been so sick, but sadly, I cannot use hockey until the second CS, you guys know. But hey, unlike my other fruits, my life fruit is awakened, buddy. Good luck, Swan. I'm not in trouble. You are. Keep him a distance away, bam. Oh, frick, he just ran through my light. You can't do that. All right, divine arrow. Yo, I'm out of here, bro. Bam, 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 bam. You can't even catch me. I'm faster than light. Dodge that, yes, sir. Hey, man, all I'm saying, Swan, is when I inevitably beat you, it would be really, really, 
really cool if you drop your pink coat. That way I can win this challenge in style. Cause it's obvious we're gonna win this, right? My confidence is at an all time high right now. I probably should get humbled, but <laughs> listen, it looks like none of these bosses are, are meaning to prove a challenge so far. So I don't need to get humbled. There you go, the easy. He did not drop the pink coat though. So that is an L to the overall happiness of myself. I'm not gonna lie. Oh brother, rubber versus magma. This is, this is gonna be something, dude. I'm not gonna lie. We might get cooked. <laughs> you remember the last time rubber fought magma? It was not, it was not super cool, dude. But it's okay. As long as we, we keep in mind uh, the techniques and everything that we need to keep in mind, you know, just the distance. We gotta, we gotta cheese it a little bit. We do have transformation, which is good. And look at, look at this long distance smash. Bam. I also sometimes forget to use slingshot for some reason. I think it's because I'm so used to using other flight moves that don't do damage. You know, it's all good, bruh. All right, bam. Long distance smash into the, ooh, what? What? Did he just magma punch, punch you guys? It went through me and went straight through the screen, bro. <laughs> I think you missed. I'm not, I'm not going to lie, dude. I think you might have missed. Smash. Okay. He's got his move coming up. I'm pretty sure. There we go. Dodge that into the rush. And that should be it. Yeah, I kind of gassed him up a little too much. I'm not going to lie. That was actually extremely... That might have been the easiest one yet. This is actually going to be such an interesting one because you have to fight Fishman Lord with the barrier fruit. I don't know. This is, this is going to be interesting, though. This is going to be super interesting. Barrier wall. Let's keep him behind there. Surprise attack. I had a feeling. I had a feeling because of how close this room was that i wouldn't be able to use surprise attack okay what about barrier prison okay yeah barrier prison is that move did i just throw him through the wall wait where what the frick how'd you get over there can i use barrier towers in here i thought so i literally can't use like three of my moves in here i can only use barrier wall and barrier prison forgot to invest my stats but we're good now to stay <gasps> what he caught me that was kind of sick actually nice night bro you you must play call of duty bro call of duty fish man lord bro watch out for him um um, guys, I used I used it again. I knew I said I wasn't gonna. <laughs> it actually got. I didn't even know you could get in there. Wait, I bet you could get into some really cool areas with surprise attack. Now that I think about it, huh? All right. Even though we're significantly nerfed with our damage because again we can't use many moves in here, we're still pretty strong. So I don't think it'll be too difficult of a fight. Just dodge that and then hit him with the barrier moves. Oh, I won. I'm not gonna lie. I was on such autopilot. I didn't even notice that I won for a second there. <laughs> I was just so used to just spamming my moves trying to get that over with okay nice all right failed demolisher oh i forgot to say yeah we're fighting dude i just started the fight what the heck I forgot to give myself my stats. I didn't even say anything about my fruit. I just started the fight. But yeah, we're gonna be fighting Whisper with the Quake Fruit now. That's actually kind of comedic. My Quake Fruit is awakened, even though sometimes it doesn't feel that way. Cause for some reason, the Quake Fruit in this game only got four moves. Don't don't ask me why. It just it just does. Where's my Sea Quake? Did it not do anything? Can I not use Sea Quake because I'm literally in the air? Is that an actual thing? If that's actually true, that is hilarious. It makes sense. I can't complain about that. But I definitely use Sea Quake. I, I don't I don't think I saw it go off though. Let me see. Let me see real quick see quake i mean it'll still do damage like on the floor bro i don't think yeah i don't think anything comes up here because they're in the sky wait i didn't know it did that oh frick i accidentally got hit by one of his bazooka attacks because i had a uh, fatal demolisher him into me okay let me not actually i forgot how much damage these guys do all right the fatal demolisher there we go get him out of here sick Ooh, that was a little close for a second if we could at least finish the first c without losing a single heart i'll be pretty satisfied with this video i think i'd be pretty satisfied all right so we're gonna be fighting thunder god with only the buddha for we can't use any melee no hockey nothing just just the buddha which may not why can't i use my moves oh my gosh my my buddha is in awakened form oh my gosh all right you know what i'm not going to the second c to awaken this i'm too lazy i'm sorry i'm just not doing it so instead i'll bring a future fruit that we weren't gonna use which is gonna be i think the pain fruit we'll use the pain fruit here so i originally wasn't gonna use the pain fruit but instead of the buddha fruit we'll be using the pain fruit so we're kind of changing the order a little bit there but to be honest the buddha fruit might actually be better than the pain fruit if anything so it's fine it's fine it's not cheating it's not cheating pain nuke okay i haven't used the pain fruit in so long bro so that's even forget it's a fruit it's kind of like the ugly child of fruits you know what i mean you gotta stay dodging his moves and throwing pain bombs at him yep get hit by
by that torture, little bro. Let me see how much damage this does. 1,000. Oh, wow. That actually does a good amount of damage. Dang, I feel like that burns for a while. I don't even, even know it did all that. <laughs> I don't even, even know it did all that. No. Oh, my gosh, dude. I, I, I got stuck in my torture animation, and it, it literally didn't hit him either. I did that for nothing. I almost died for nothing. <laughs> That would have that would have peeved me so bad. I'd have been so annoyed after that. Okay, he's about to die though. Just 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 stay back. Hey hey, stay back. Frick, he's got. Why would you use that one? I let you get close so you can use the other move. Whatever. Bane barrage. Bane barrage. Pain 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 barrage. We win. Wait, slight intermission, bro. A fruit just spawned. All right, I'm not gonna lie. It took me a while to find which island was on. Oh, oh, is that a is that a ghost fruit? Okay, I'll take it. I'll take a ghost fruit. I'll take it. Not, it's not bad. All right though, we're going to fly over to where we need to go because we are able to use the freaking love fruit this is just slightly overpowered just just a little bit just just a little bit anyways i might be doing a troll play i'm not gonna be invested in melee for much more longer bro i'm gonna just start focusing on defense and blocks roots get that damage and tankiness up you know what i mean anyways i'm not even gonna hit the floor bro how about you find my best old friendo down there never mind he decided that he wanted to go ahead and ride on the flamingo with me hey i can't blame him this is a cool flamingo yep just dodge all those attacks hey how you doing now there little bro take that hard shot yep now you're drowning how's it feel okay fine i won't i won't flamingo right abuse the wazoo out of this fight but honestly using my best old friend though is gonna be just as evil <laughs> it's going it's going to be just as evil bro for that freaking ben 10 who's helping who are you i think that's ben 10 is ben 10 helping me all right we we destroyed it it's freaking best fr ben 10 wait why is my friend though ben 10 and he's so short too i mean i guess it kind of makes sense also rest in peace the ice admiral that we can fight his existence is pretty much non-existent but hey we get an extra 75 stats because of him so i'll put it in block street i guess i also would have gotten a spider fruit i just realized i gave myself a fruit for him that i, I can't even use so i guess we're not using the spider fruit <laughs> hey though we managed to beat the first team without dying once which isn't like too crazy but i'm still i'm still proud of my accomplishment you know you know what i'm saying i'm so proud i'm so proud i definitely could have died like twice against saber and the light god but i didn't so that's all that matters let's we'll try to give ourselves some good luck for the second c and roll a uh, kitsune it's time finally oh my gosh we're cooked oh we're so cooked we're gonna die in this d for sure all right let's go fly to our boy diamond with the sound fruit we're gonna be using charge up our tempo meter a little bit get that to golden there we go hit him with the triple rhapsody no combo into the fortissimo hey where you running to little bro take that symphonic radiance yeah we're having a dance battle now glorious harmony nice Oh, frick. I forgot I did all that. Dang. Isn't it crazy that this fruit almost came out a year ago and we still don't have the dragon update? That's nuts, dude. This oh, frick. Oh, also, I can use armament hockey now. I definitely should be using that. There's no reason I shouldn't be using armament hockey right now. All right. Dang. After all of that, you're only on half HP, dude? Frick. This, <laughs> the skill jump into the second C and onward is kind of crazy. All right. Wait. He's so oh, my gosh. How did you even get over there? He's so low, though. Dodge that. Nice. My tempo meter's trying to get low. Let me charge it up real quick. There we go. Rhapsody notes. Come on. Fortissimo, why are you alive? Okay, we got him. Nice. He also got his long sword, but I, I can't I can't really do anything. I can't really do anything with that. All right. So against Jeremy, we have to use the Phoenix fruit. And this is going to be a very interesting one, right? Because I don't have a lot of <laughs> melee, so I don't have a lot of energy, which is huge for the Phoenix fruit. It depends a lot on energy. So I might end up regretting uh, the fact that I did not invest as much into melee as I could have. But we'll see. Hopefully we can beat him before our energy gets too low. Oh, I used blue flames wrong. I actually shouldn't even use blue flames because that does that takes even more energy. So I probably shouldn't. I probably shouldn't use blue flames. Just stick to every other move. This is still the freaking Phoenix fruit, though. <laughs> this is this is still the Phoenix fruit. So okay, we're a little less than half eight or half melee, and he's uh, he's under half HP. He's a good amount under half HP. But I'm not gonna lie, I, I, I did it as I was gonna say it. I've been missing a low key lot of my moves, bro. I'm missing a, I'm missing a good amount of my moves. Oh, what's just happened why did it kick me out of my why did it kick me out of my form for that second wait i didn't know when you transformed it it applied a burn oh my gosh how did i how did i not know that oh is it because i use swift flight wait what oh maybe i didn't have it i don't even know what's going on anymore bro yeah it's not even it's not letting me stay in my bird form i, I don't think i have enough energy i think it cancels you out at 900 i i also don't know how i didn't know that part but hey man you know live and learn bro all right come on let's just end it already please let's just end it okay Woo. 
That wasn't hard or anything. It was just kind of scary trying to stay within the energy. Oh God, I got to use portal to get places. And I just realized I have to stick with freaking portal because the next battle we have to use it. All right, Fajita, this is going to be a very, 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 very fun battle, which is why I'm going to put 125 of your stats into my defense because I, I just don't want to, I don't want to die. <laughs> for, me, for being completely honest, you know, allow me to be blunt. I, I don't really want to die, man. Doesn't really sound like a fun time. Let's hit him with that domain expansion though. Yes, sir. See, ah, oh, frick. I really, I really don't have a lot of, I really don't have a lot of uh, energy. I feel like I might've made a couple mistakes in my journey towards becoming the strongest, you know? Domain expansion. Sorry, I forgot to say it. My bad guys. Okay, domain expansion. I think he should be on half HP now or energy. Oh, wow, he waited. You saw how he waited for me to get out of there, dude? That is actually kind of nuts. He had, he had it ready, bro. He had it ready like a shotgun. Oh, frick. I'm gonna domain expansion to get out of there. I am low key so weak. I have like no energy because I gotta even use more energy to get out of here. Please, I, I didn't mean to do that. I was, uh, what's it called? Habit. Okay, he's weak though. I, I should save my domain expansion for later. Oh no. Oh no. Okay, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Ooh, no, 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 no. Upgraded in fruits yet. I gotta use the freaking portal fruit. Who who decided these rules, bro? Wait, I did. Domain expansion. You can you can tell these domain expansions are a little hesitant. There's not a, there's not a lot of gusto in these domain. What? He waited to use it again once I got out. Bro, who was Fajita, bro? Who does he think he is? I think he dies in his domain expansion, though, doesn't he? There we go. Oh my gosh, dude, dude, that was actually terrifying. Holy crap! Who does Fajita think he is? <laughs> That boy, that boy was making me fight for that. He was, making, he was making me fight for that victory. Okay, Don Swan time, Frick. Oh no, I mean, I am using Awakened Rumble. I do get a decent amount of stats, but I am still absolutely terrified of this guy. I'm not gonna lie. We haven't died a single time. And if, it, if anyone in the, in the second C is gonna give us that death, it will be Don freaking Swan, bro. Rumble is super busted though. So, dude, how does that hit? Like, do you guys saw that? At range, right? How the freak does that hit? I'm gonna jump in the air before I use this thunderball destruction. Like, I'm throwing a freaking spirit bomb, bruh. Oh, okay. We didn't get hit by much of that. Thunderstorm. We gotta aim this guy judgment correctly. There we go. Oh, he's in his second form now. Okay, let me get let me get over here, bro. I don't want you even close to me. I'm not gonna lie. Thank God we got a really good fruit for staying far. Like, I'm able, I'm able to do a lot from a distance, bro. Yep, dodge that to the thunderstorm. I, I don't know how much he's on, but he can't be high on HP. Like, he has been tanking these hits. I'm also starting to miss a little bit, though. I think the pressure is starting to get to me, man. Okay, we won. Oh, that was actually kind of easy. <laughs> Rumble might actually be a really good counter to Don Swan. I never really thought of it like that, but yeah. Being able to stay the distance with electric flash and just spamming lightning moves, pretty freaking good against a guy like that. Okay, so we have to fight Smoke Admiral with the Gravity Fruit, but before anything else, let me not forgive to give myself my stats. Let's do 250 blocks fruits and 200 defense. Or that tree is looking a little peculiar. <laughs> this is the most peculiar one we've had so far, but obviously it's kind of working a little bit considering the fact that we haven't even died so far. So let's let's try to keep it that way. Because if once we make it to the third C, I'd like to call it the, the mythic fruit arc. And <laughs> you're, you're gonna see why. It's a little crazy. So as long as we can make it to the third C, I'll, I'll feel happy. At least I can end the video with happiness if I lose. All right, though, Meteor Rain, you should be cooked in here, yep. Smoke Admiral being like such a high stat giver boss in order for him to just be so mid is hilarious to me. Like, he's actually, he's pretty buns. Wait, I low-key forgot the gravity fruit is a mythical fruit. We already entered the mythical fruit arc. Yeah, so the remainder of the video, we're only gonna be using mythical fruits, which is crazy. I'm not gonna lie, at this point, I expected to have lost at least one time. I did. I expected to lose at least one time, but surprisingly, we have not. I'm actually gonna do or assess a little bit more evenly right now, so we're gonna do 250 melee, 250 defense, and 250 blocks fruits for this, just so I can get a little bit more energy. I think I'm good on energy now now for sure, but I was getting a little worried in some points. So let's transform into Mammoth because that is going to be the fruit that we're going to be boxing the Awakened Ice Admiral with. Oh, this is such a spammy fruit. I haven't used Mammoth in so long. Oh, he froze me. That is a big piece of ice for this Mammoth, bruh. All right. I want to try using Stampede, but I got to get him back on the floor. All right, let's use Stampede now. And we're just going to, we're going to bring you around town, buddy. We're going to, we're going to bring you around. We're going to, we're going to bring you around town. This is so balanced. Even when he freezes me, I can use it. What? That is so busted. I did not know when you get frozen, you can still use Stampede. Did you guys know that? I, did, I didn't I did 
didn't know that. But our next fruit is going to be the T-Rex fruit against the Tide Keeper. This is going to be interesting. Let's do this, though. This is going to be very interesting. Let's just try to get our damage up so we can get our Fury Meter. Because the second I can get my Fury Meter, I can start being a little bit more troll, you know? Oh, there's her lizard. Okay, let me turn into my T-Rex form. It's pretty It's pretty much useless to try to to try to fight him, uh, fight his little sea beast. I'm just going to focus on spamming moves on, on him. Oh, frick. Wait, I just realized I, did, I didn't give myself my stats. Shocker. Okay, if I die, I have a good excuse at least. But I believe in the heart of the cards. Stop. I, I hate that stupid sea dragon. It's a sea lizard. I, uh, sea beast, that's his name. Stop. Okay, okay. Why are you still on here? Can you fall in the water? Thank you. There's gigantic leap over there. Where is it? Wait, did I kill it? I think I, I just, I literally think I killed the sea beast off just like trying to fight the uh the tide keeper and him just getting hit by my moves alongside of him and burning. That is crazy. Okay. Who? thank God for busted fruits, bro. <laughs> thank God for busted fruits. We managed to go through this without dying once. Wait, no way, right? I mean, we still got a lot of bosses to go. We still got the whole third C. But, you know, it's not, it's not impossible for me to, to flawless this challenge to not get a single death. I'm just saying. All right, let's go fight Stone for this fight. We actually get the Dofu, which is going to be kind of crazy. You know, that's a, that's a little bit strong, dude. In case you didn't know, the Dofu fruit's not a bad fruit, man. It's, it's pretty decent, actually. I could also start using Observation Hockey. So yeah, we get a significantly big buff in the third C now. All right. I think he's just cooked. This is so easy. <laughs> this is <laughs> That was like criminally easy of a battle. All right, we got to go now fight the Island Empress. I'm not going to lie. I feel like I use this shadow fruit against you a little too many times. Like this is definitely not like the first or second time I fought you with the shadow fruit. I feel like I do it all the time. Okay. I just have to Corvus Torment and Umbridge spam. <laughs> this one is so freaking good for fighting bosses. I used to think it was buns, but now I know, I know it's actually really good because I can use Corvus Torment plus Umbridge. And if I take damage, <laughs> too bad. So sad. I'm going to take that damage right back, sucker. Yup. Now you're getting hit by my Umbridge plus Corvus Torment. Like, look at that damage, bruh. All right. We're on half HP. Nightmare Leech is currently down, but I have Corvus Torment. <laughs> Let's Nightmare Leech. And there we go. I'm back healed. And there we go. Get him out of here. Woo. Venom Fruit versus Kilo Admiral. I'm even going to transform. <laughs> I'm even I'm even going to transform, bro. Yep. I can't even see anything. Let me let me use that observation hockey because, yeah, I literally I literally can't see anything. Oh, no. Wait, 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 wait. Why am I dying? I wasn't really paying attention. Okay, okay, okay. okay. We're still good. We're still good. We're still alive. That's all that matters. <sighs> Oh my gosh. No, 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 no. Yo. Oh, my head got way too big, bruh. I got so overconfident. I'm not even gonna lie to you guys. I got so overconfident. I've literally not died a single time this video. So I'm here saying like, you know what, man? <laughs> this is gonna be easy. <laughs> and then I got cooked. I, li I literally almost died. That's crazy. All right, Captain Elephant. This is actually a scary fight because I gotta use control against this guy. Yikes. Control's not a bad fruit by any means, but it's not the best for fighting like bosses or farming or anything which is the problem i could do some good damage but i kind of need like a sword or some melee or something to add on to it you know what i mean so just the pure control fruit did he just knock away my rock did it bounce off his forehead bro i swear i swear my rocks keep bouncing off his forehead bro it's like the third time that's happened to me now i just gotta keep on running and throwing rocks at him stay away from me take the take this rock stay away from me we are both currently on half hp bro I am literally spamming. <laughs> I am spamming so many rocks at this guy right now. I just don't. I want him to stay away from me, dude. I don't want him anywhere near me. <laughs> if every time he attacks me, I try to block it with my super armor from uh, Echo Knife and Gamma Rush, then I think I can win this without dying. I mean, so far it's going pretty well, but all it takes is him to hit me one time for my like everything to crash, bruh. Yep, like I just blocked his move with my Gamma Rush. He's pretty weak, and we're pretty high on hp still so if we could keep this up we should have this okay I, wait did i give myself my stats i just realized <laughs> i think myself my stats i didn't give myself my stats dude okay i'll do 100 into this and and 275 into fruit like 25 more than i should have but hey we won i didn't even notice that was gonna give us the win and i did that anyways i probably shouldn't have but nice let's go all right the big three are up beautiful pirate into longma into k queen this is gonna be so interesting dude i kind of want to wait a little bit until my spirits are all up so i'm just gonna i'm just gonna stay back a little bit bro don't worry about
about me. I'm gonna just sit back, wait for my nine spirits to pop up, and then I'm literally gonna lay down all the smoke. I'm not gonna lie, we might lose here. <laughs> I would not be surprised if beautiful pirate takes all three of our lives and the video ends. I would not be surprised, no sir. All right, here we go. We got our nine spirits, so we're just gonna start slowly stacking them up and just uh, making sure that we do what needs to be done, you know? All right, good. Yep, just keep him in that that spirit loop. Keep him in the spirit loop. Nice. Wrath of Raw while he's getting hit by that. Dodge that. Wrath of Shoe. Drop some more spirits around here. Don't want to use my whole bag right now. All right, good. Now we just stay back. Okay, got him to his second form, but we are already on half HP. So second form is obviously stronger than the first form. Frick, dude. Please don't kill me, man. After everything I've done. Oh, oh, no. Oh, no, dude. After all of this outplay thinking that I did, bro. It just, it can't stop the beautiful man. Please keep this demon away from me. Please, spirits, help. I did not mean to summon. I did not mean to stop, summon a freaking star, bro. Please. My beautiful spirits, help me. He's He's coming, at, he's coming after me. Get him away from me. Oh my gosh, he just dashed through my end of times. I really can't stand this guy. <laughs> I really can't. I really can't stand beautiful pirate, bro. Oh my gosh, come on. Don't be, don't beat my unbeatable streak. I've done so well this video, bro. I don't want to lose. No. Oh, we did so good, dude. Oh, our first loss. We actually did so good, though. I'm actually heartbroken about that. I feel like I played to the best of my abilities. I'm not going to lie. All right. Yep. He's still on heal. Uh, he didn't heal, I mean, which is good. Frick, dude. I feel like there's something more I could have done, though, to prevent the loss, you know? All right. The Wrath of Shoe into Frostfire into uh, Thingy Majiggy. But yeah, no, we, we got him. Oh, that is so depressing. I mean, we won, right? That's all that matters. We won, but we did not get the perfect flawless throughout the video. We actually managed to lose a life. That that is that is actually kind of heartbreaking. But hey, we're, we're 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 done now. It's done now. Next up, we're gonna be fighting Longmo with the leopard fruit. Oh, this is gonna be interested. Yep, just just hit him with just hit him with a lot of spam. Just 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 hit him with a lot of just hit him with a lot of spam. Pretty sure I could play like an actual idiot with this fruit because it is just the leopard fruit. So even though this is the Longma, you know, unkillable Longma himself. This is still a leopard fruit, you know? <laughs> this is this is still a leopard fruit. It doesn't really matter how unkillable he may be for other fruits. I can tell you one thing. He ain't being a leopard fruit, that's for sure. Alrighty, bruh. Alrighty. It's time. And it's time to fight big mama mama mama, the cake queen herself. Let's do this, bro. The final battle. Oh, frick. I sent her through the wall. <laughs> I did not mean to do that. I gotta be careful with some of these moves. Honestly, I only need to really use Foxfire Disruption and just spam M1s on her. To be fair though, that it's looking like that's the only thing I can do in this situation. That literally looks like the only, literally the only thing I can do if I don't want to set her through the wall by accident. Yeah, you can try to use this. Honestly, I'm not even blocking or trying to dodge any of her moves. I'm literally just spam attacking here. There's no reason for me to do anything else in this situation. And there we go. GG's. After being so criminally disrespectful, for the next 100 levels, I'm going to have to use the chop fruit. Am I happy about this turn of events? Not at all, actually. Luckily for me, though, I never got to get swanky neb back here again. So let's go ahead and fight these next bandits. Now, just for some real clarification, I can use combat. However, it'll only be to like collect them like this. I can't actually just use it. Let's get them all together and we can just use tackle. Bam. It's kind of decent. This fruit isn't too terrible. For the first 100 levels, I'm fine with this. So, hey, worst comes to worst, at least I'm getting some a mastery on chop fruit for the future. Alrighty, there we go. We're now level 10. So you can go ahead and swing to the jungle. Alright, adventurer, give us our first quest to beat up the monkeys. So let's just get them all grouped up like this. And we're gonna hit the tackle. I will say though, when we're gonna have to fight, I think the pirates on the next island, they use swords. So I'm actually pretty sure having the chop fruit is gonna be pretty helpful for us against them. Okay, damage looking kind of decent against the gorillas. We're also close to mastery 20 another great thing about these like really meh fruits at the start of the game is that they don't have a lot of mastery needed to get like the actual moves so i'm totally fine with this okay we can go fight the gorilla king now plus we got our second move let's go beat up these last few gorillas though and hit him with that dance oh damage is looking kind of stacked though y'all okay final time to fight those gorillas all right i'm gonna go swing to the quest giver really quickly we're gonna go fight the gorilla king righty gorilla king let's see how you can handle a 
chop tackle into the chop dance. A little bit of the Maglios, but tackle's already back up. I do think what's really good about chop as well is that tackle has like no cooldown, bro. That move is up every 15 milliseconds. All right, he's starting to get pretty weak. Let's hit you with the dance again. And then tackle's back up. And we got him in the middle of his ground. I had the monkey quest. Why didn't y'all tell me I had the monkey quest? Okay, and there we go. Now we can swing all the way to our gracious pirate village. Wait a minute. How does this guy have the chop fruit just like me? He must be a fan. You know, he should be dropping a like and subscribing on the video just like you. <laughs> Why am I not invisible to their source? Maybe I have to be a higher level than what I am right now. So we're going to see if maybe after a little bit, we can become invincible to their swords. Because I'm pretty sure chop gets immunity to swords. I, I could be wrong. Uh oh, wait a minute. Yeah, yeah. Boogie woogie. You know what? Chop might have been like one of the best fruits that we could have gotten to start the video. At first, I was upset that we got it, but wait, this is kind of lit. I am curious, though. So if we go ahead and fight the brutes, will I become invincible to their maces? Because the maces, it's not a sword, but it's still like a weapon. I don't think, yeah, we'll have to wait till probably level 45. For now, it's, it's a definite no, though. Oh my golly goodness. He's going to kill me if I'm not careful. All right, so now that I'm level 47, can I not get hit by your weapons? This is kind of sick. All right, time to fight Bobby. Let's see how strong Mr. Bobby really is. I'm the superior chop user. Ooh, dodge the sword attacks. Ooh, ooh, dodge and weave, tackle. All right, he's on half. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. Bobby kind of had no chance. He kind of had zero chance. GG's though, bro. Maybe in another world you could beat me, but I'm off the pirate village island forever. Let's go ahead and swing to the desert and we're gonna have to fight those desert guys. Ah, it's just too nice. We're also level 60, so the desert our bandits can't even hit us. It's honestly kind of a shame that we're gonna lose this uh, power in 40 levels, bro. I wanna take advantage of this for a while. Hey, now we have a mastery 50 on party. Let's just get these uh, desert bandits here for a second. Hit that dance, hit the tackle, into the party. Wait a minute. Guys, I may be in love with the chop fruit right now. All right, we're done with this village. You can go to the frozen village. Let's go, I can get hockey. 10 levels until we can go ahead and roll for the next fruit but in the meantime let's just go ahead and converse with this ability teacher and get some ability so we're gonna get air jump so we can double jump aura so we can get stronger and i'll also pay for flash jump why not it's a pretty good time to wrap it up though because pretty sure this is gonna be one of the last npcs that we can fight that have a sword for a little bit i might be wrong though i might actually be wrong i don't know well it's quite unfortunate but we're gonna have to leave the chop fruit because we're now level 100 my brother you can give me a good roll come on wait 100 40k. Oh, that's how much I have. Okay, 32k. Let's go. It's not super terrible. It's just I definitely would have preferred to keep the chop fruit. But hey, we now have the diamond fruit for the next 100 levels now. Oh, nah. This fruit is dookie. Bro, look at this beam and tackle. I don't even hit all of them and it does no damage, bro. Oh my gosh. I know I got no mastery though. So I'm gonna have to use... <laughs> All right, so normally for these types of challenges, I don't allow myself to use combat. But for this one, bro, at least for this diamond fruit, bro, I am using combat. I don't know what to tell you, sucker. Look at the only move I got. Look what it does to the snow bandit, bam. Okay, that doesn't count because he was on one HP. But let me show you what happens if they're on like full HP, bro. How much damage is this tackle gonna do? 201, how much does a punch do? 34, I'm not gonna sit here and lie and be like, yeah, guys, I'm only using the diamond. Nope, I'm punching him in the face first. All right, let's go ahead and fight the Yeti though this is gonna be a very interesting fight mr yeti yep yep get it over with i might actually just die here yep i might just be cooked with the diamond fruit i've realized that there's no longer any options it's just hands that's all we do bro we just punch and box bro no get me out of here okay i'm dead now <laughs> I mean, it's not like fantastic. I'm able to do stuff, right? It's not, it's not impossible. So could always be worse. Where, where did he go? I'm not crazy, right? He just teleported there. All right, here we go. One last beam and tackle and get that sucker out of here. We can finally skadoodle to the Marine Fortress. You know what? While I'm here, let me go ahead and get into this tower right here. You guys should already know about this dude named Parlis because if we talk to him, he starts talking and he yapping. But for 50K, we get this black cape and with this black that cape. Ooh, 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 ooh. Not only do we get a little bit of sauce, but our damage is accelerated by 5%. And I'm talking blocks, fruits, combat, guns, swords. Everything is an additional 5% damage. Just a win, win, win all around. All right. So our diamond fruit is now level.
level 80. And we finally got another move. I don't have to just rely on beam and tackle. Now I got diamond hail. Wowzers. But honestly, diamond hail is actually pretty solid. That actually is going to make me be able to farm a lot better now. All right, though, let's go ahead and beat up the vice admiral. Should be pretty easy. Let's just go ahead and hit him with the beam and tackle. Are we doing a decent bit of damage? I'm actually kind of surprised. Honestly, if we just had observation hockey, this would not be that bad at all, bro. Let's see if we can beat him without dying, though. I think we can do it. I, I really do. And bam, there we go. Too easy. And we're now level 150, so we can hop towards the Skylands. Let's go. Guys, I think I broke my boat. So tell me how I've had this fruit for like 50 levels now, and I just found out how to actually use beam and tackle. I just found this by accident, but if I'm actually in the air and do it like towards the ground, I can hit multiple people, and it doesn't knock them back crazy far. <laughs> like, look at this, bro. Bam! Why didn't I know I could do that? All right, here we go. New move. Solar flare. Oh, that move's kind of cool. That'll definitely pass the vibe check. I think we're probably going to be good for the next couple of levels, so we have to roll the fruit. All righty, now we're level 190, so we can swing to the prison. And huzzah, I am now level 201. So let's go back to the jungle, because now we got to go ahead and roll our fruit away. I'm not going to lie, at the start, the diamond fruit was quite dookie. However, it is time for us to upgrade, I hope. Let's see, all right, the fruit's going to be... No, dude, I'm literally getting the worst grinding fruits. What is going on, bro? Let's see, barrier wall. Yeah, I'm cooked. Now, let's see how I'm going to have to be grinding for the next, you know, 99 levels. Let's punch you. And let's see, <laughs> ultimate technique, barrier wall. But hey, they can't hit me. Can I punch them through the wall at least? <gasps> Can they not hit me through here? But I think it's easier for me to hit them than it is for them to hit me. So it's kind of like, a, you know, a W. All right, we already got our next move here. Stairs. They're never going to stop me now. All right, head jailer. It's time for us to go ahead and fight the first boss of the prison, the warden. I'm not going to lie. You're about to get cooked, sucker. <laughs> There's no ands, ifs, or buts about it, buddy. We're also close to getting our final ability for the barrier fruit. So I'm pretty excited for that. But in the meantime, you know, the moves we got are definitely more than enough. And surprise attack to finish him off. All righty, time to fight the chief warden. This will literally be the exact same as the last warden. I don't know what you're expecting, but it's going to be nothing crazy. I promise you. Now we got to go ahead and fight Mr. Swan. And surprise attack glitches me through the ceiling. All right, awesome. This is definitely amazing information. But after we beat Swan, we're probably going to get enough XP to go ahead and go to the Coliseum. And normally, I don't go there. And for this video, I think I'm going to do the same and just server hop and fight Swan until I get to level 300. And there we go. We won. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and server hop a bunch and I'm just going to cycle, repeat, and there we go, level 300. So now that we're level 300, we're going to go ahead and swing back to the jungle. Of course, we got to go ahead and roll or fruit, but then after that, we're going to go ahead and do our saber quest. Well, let's do this first. All right, Zeolus, let's see what the next 100 levels of fruit is going to be used. And it's going to be a what? Even though we got the diamond fruit again, even though I want to be upset right now, at least it's fully maxed out. So I can't really be too upset, but I'm still upset because I want to get like, you know, different fruits, you know, for the video to make it more entertaining. But either way, let's go ahead and start clicking some of these buttons around the island that I totally remember where they are. It's right around here. All right. So I think I've clicked all the buttons. So, yep. Let's just hop down here and grab this torch. But with this torch, we need to go ahead ahead and swing by the desert. Alrighty, and now that we're at the desert, we can swing to this house, go down the stairs, and light this door on fire, and grab this cup. Alrighty, so we gotta take this cup to the frozen village, fill it up with some agua fresca, and give this cup to this sick old man. Yeah, drink up, little bro. Alright, so we're at the pirate village now, we gotta go ahead and talk to the rich man, cause he's not sick, he's rich. Yeah, this dude's a horrible person, bro. Every time I I do this i'm like dang what the heck's wrong with buddy but he basically told us that his money got robbed it got stolen from him by a mafia boss oh no and this is the mafia boss right here well he's a mob leader but we all know what he really is so let's just go ahead and beat him up real quick bam bam and now that we've done that we have to go back to the rich man and talk to him oh hi roblox 697212 how are you doing man this sucker has a 3.8 million bounty why are you 
here, bro. Go back to the third C and flip burgers at McDonald's, bro. What's going on with him? All righty, let's go talk to the rich man again. And he's going to be like, oh my goodness, thank you for getting my money. Take a dollar. And then we can go ahead and open up this room right here in the jungle. And, and the dude's not here. Okay, server hopping time. I'm really hoping that this time we don't get cooked. But you know me, guys. I'm a pathological getting cooker. What? I'm going to try my absolute best to try to first try this dude, though. I'm going to try the best that I can. Okay, we're doing some good damage, though. Wait, why is our diamond fruit Loki kind of overpowered? Ow. I am destroying him. Yo, I first tried him. I probably was supposed to do this 100 levels ago, but listen, we don't need to sweat ourselves with the details. Either way, though, we need to go ahead and swing to the magma village. Alright, hey, magma emerald, it's your time to die. Gonna go ahead and fight him really quickly. Not gonna, not gonna take too long on this. And solar flare. Okie dokie, let's finish up here. Alrighty, now we're level 375, so we can go to the underwater city. We're now level 400, so let's see what our next fruit's gonna be. It would be quite hilarious if we got, you know, the diamond fruit again. But he's over here. Let's see if we can main account RNG or way to get in a good fruit. And we're gonna get a... No! Bro, Falcon is so dookie. Alright, here we go, guys. It's time for us to finally beat people up with our amazing Falcon fruit. Here we go. Windburst! Oh, yeah. Here we go. We got our next ability here. Fly! Light. Yeah, we're unbeatable now. We can't even use wind burst while flying. We got our last move for Falcon, Soren Talon. It's a cool little dash. That's actually not bad at all. Okay, I'm not I'm not super upset about that one. Let's do this, buddy. It's your time to go. I'm leading the battle off with a Soren Talon into the moon crusher. Okay, I'm not gonna narrate this whole battle because of how long this video is already gonna be, but just know that I'm cooking this fraud right now. I'm not even gonna die once. Just watch. All right, he's now in his second form. No! Well, I lied. Well, I might have died once, but it doesn't matter. All right. And kablooey. And there he goes. Skylands arc time. Second to last island of the first sea. We're almost there to one third of the video. While I'm in the upper Skylands, though, let's quickly fly over to this tower or not this tower. just like pyramid thingy. And let's talk to this instinct teacher so we could go ahead and buy instinct. Oh, my goodness. I can dodge moves now. This is going to be super crucial for this video because obviously we're going to be getting so many random fruits. We could be in the third C starting with a brand new fruit. So having something like this to dodge moves is going to be huge. All right, finally, I can stop using the Falcon fruit, but I'm not going to lie. As you can see, I got mastery 175. I'm been using this thing. It's actually not too bad. So let's see what our next fruit is going to be. And our fifth fruit that we're going to be using is what is going on? Is my RNG real? Oh, don't worry, guys. Let me eat this falcon fruit real quick um nom 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 you know what rule change later on in the video we're gonna make it so we cannot have dupes i'm gonna go ahead and roll my fruit again this is mainly just so you know we don't make the video boring bro i don't want to use the same fruits every dang time oh okay magma fruit that's not bad take this it's magma time magma clamp yeah take that 524 damage sucker there's nothing you can do about it and i still got my falcon wing so that, that's kind of weird but anyways let's go back to the sky lands and do what we gotta do yes let's go bro this is huge especially for this part of the game hey look i got all these shandas lined up magma clap and there we go we already mastered 54 there we go and now we got our next move magma eruption so this one just goes blam oh and at least magma on the floor cool and here's our final magma ability at least until we can awaken it but obviously we're not gonna awaken it because we only got it for another 66 levels but let's see here magma meteor yeah take all of that all right we're level 575 Five, so while we still have the magma fruit, the last couple of levels, let's go ahead and use it against the thunder god. Let's do this, buddy. Take these magma meteors. Okay, he is doing way too much damage right now, bro. He's on half, and I just missed my entire move set, bro. Oh my goodness. Okay, enough cheesing, and I think he's dead. Yep, yep there we go. No, I don't want to go away from the magma fruit. And there we go. We're now level six hundred dead. This sucks, dude. I really enjoyed using magma. I'm not gonna lie. Especially since I still have another 24 levels that I'm supposed to stay here. So this is really, this isn't even bittersweet. This is just bitter. Oh, Roy, Gasaurus Rex. Let's see what fruit you roll for us. It's gonna be a sand fruit. Not ideal, but I think this is still elemental. So let's go ahead and eat up our brand new fruit. Om nom nom. Let's see if I remember. I'm pretty sure it's an elemental fruit. Yeah, so cool. Alrighty, so my 
sand fruit is now maxed out. Let's check out her moves real quick. We got desert sword. Wow. Desert funeral. It only takes one, so it, it kind of sucks. Sand tornado is probably the better move for farming, I guess. Still kind of dookie. And then we got heavy sand, which is actually decent. It's, it's all right. Nothing too crazy. And our final move is our flight, which is sand flight. It's not like anything cool. It's, it's just a little flight. All righty. Now I'm level 637. So let's go to the final spot, bro. All right. Final boss for the first say let's go ahead and fight cyborg all right buddy let's see if you can handle the power of the sand sand fruit okay i just hit him with the full combo for 2700 damage am i okay no it's all right though bro i don't i don't even need damage for real <laughs> oh my gosh bro he hit me with the double back-to-back -back fart that's crazy nonsense bro I, I have uninvested stats bro what am i doing all right i invested my stats we're okay bro <sighs> Let's see if, you know, we can get a little bit of extra damage in here. You know what I'm saying? Just a little bit of extra damage. Oh, my. <laughs> oh, dude. I didn't even get him that low either. That's the worst part. And I, I died again. All right, Sand Tornado, please, please die. How was he alive? Desert Funeral, time to put you in the grave, buddy. We're kind of balling right now, though. 3.8 mil? Dang. All right, no, let's wrap this up. Yippee. We've hit level 700. Okay, but before we go to the second C and do that whole question and again thing we gotta obviously roll for our fruit because there is still one more boss that we have to do in this c oh boy let's see what the final fruit is gonna be for the first c and the thing is too is we're gonna have to take this fruit to the second c so please be something that can help me out in the first or the second c please <gasps> you know in my head i was thinking life fruit but i didn't say it but yo let's go okay life fruit is huge bro plus we're gonna get our fast flight so this is just this is just good all around it's gonna be good for farming it's gonna be good for every Everything, bro. I really do wish that I had it uh, at least the light flight right now, though, but it's okay. It's okay. Let's go ahead and swing by the prison really quickly. Actually, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and stay here for another, like, I don't know, 10, 15, 20 levels. So I can level up my light fruit because I'm not going to go ahead and fight the ice armor with just light ray. That sounds a little stupid. All righty. I'm now level 720. Honestly, the light fruit is so busted. It's so good for farming, especially in the first C. It didn't even take that long for me to get to this level. But first things first, we got to swing to the prison and talk to this little dude over here, Mr. Military Detective. And he's just going to give us this key so we can go to this ice area. And then inside the frozen village, we got to put this key in here. And let's do a little move showcase. So our first move is our X, light barrage of light. Or Z is light ray, which is literally an instant shot. We got reflection king. Bam! And sky beam barrage. Oh, it actually goes through the floor. Or the ceiling, I mean. I did not expect it to go through the ceiling. I'm not going to lie to you. And we can also box it with our little light sword. Yeah, as you can tell. Light is a little bit busted. I'm trying to end this as fast as possible. I could easily beat him without having to like get super close like this, but I'm, I'm just trying to wrap this up. All right, there we go. Now that we've beaten the Ice Admiral, honestly, I may as well just go to the jungle. I think that'll be faster than just flying to the middle town. It should be right here. And then we just got to talk to this experienced captain. There we go. Second C. Oh my goodness, we're one third of the way there. Well, I'm going to enjoy the light fruit while I still have it sally it's only gonna be another 80 levels and the way that it's been going so far it's gonna go by and literally lickety split bro a, a flash of light bruh all right after honestly the most enjoyable grinding session so far we're now level 800 so we gotta go and roll off the light fruit no honestly bro i might even break my rule if we get the light fruit again that's how much i really enjoyed using this fruit but let's see what we get from the black shoes gotcha ziolas please do, do not cook me bro please Please give me double you luck and we're gonna get what all right hold on let me go talk to another account real quick all right i'm on my side account let's go ahead and roll i don't even have that much money this is literally the last fruit i can roll okay and we got a bomb fruit honestly this is so sad i don't want to dang bomb fruit oh this video idea hurts me so bad bro i want to keep the light fruit and now we got a bomb fruit yay oh yeah i do also have to go ahead and do this bartillo quest now that we are at level 800 100 minutes we'll just do it it's 850 it might be 850 okay yeah it's level 850 so i'll be back don't don't, don't worry about me bartello i'm gonna be back bro this stinks bro <laughs> i miss the light fruit i mean i could do stuff like that with the bomb fruit don't get me wrong there's definitely some shenanigans we could get up to but bro being immune to everybody and getting my cool little lightsaber oh it truly was a feeling unbeknownst to man now i gotta do all this nonsense bro like look at this Ooh, explosive
supposed to jump and then I get targeted bomb in the air. Yeah, it's kind of hard to do this against <laughs> against these people too, but yeah. All right, now I'm level 850. I guess I could do a little bomb showcase, but I'll do that on my way back. All right, so let's talk to Bartillo. And he's like, hey, thank God, blah, 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 bloom. And we have to go ahead and defeat 50 Swamp Pirates. So let's let's do that really quickly. But before that, let's do a little mini move showcase. So our Z targeted bomb, we can aim it. Wow, so cool. Honestly, it's not super bad. I'm noticing a lot of these fruits, even if they don't seem super great at first, that was explosive jump, by the way, and then self-destruct. The longer you charge it up, the more HP it takes and the more damage it does. But I'm noticing that the longer that I actually play with like a fruit even if it seems really bad at first eventually i end up actually getting relatively decent with the fruit and farming with it actually isn't super bad don't get me wrong it's definitely not no light fruit but it's it's really it's not that bad i'm making i'm making things work right now and there we go that quest is done so let's go ahead and talk to bartillo again and he's basically going to tell us to fight jeremy now interestingly enough from what i've been told i'm pretty sure if we take this quest give her quest to fight jeremy as well with the quest that we got from uh bartillo i'm pretty sure it stacks i actually never tried this before but you guys commented down below that i should try it out so let's see how it goes let's fight mr jeremy yeah ma'am no i probably should have set up some landmines before i even tried fighting him but it's all right let me set him up now yup <laughs> get exploded yep he's walking on a million bombs dude you can't escape it and then i'm gonna go back here Heck yeah yeah the bomb fruit is honestly so dang busted against like bosses dude it is actually insane i used to hate on this fruit too that's why i wasn't too upset when i rolled it but let's end this with a self-destruct yeah yeah it actually did stack let's go okay cool that's a good way to get another three levels when i do that but now that we did that let's go ahead and go by the Coliseum, and we have to enter the things on the wall in the correct order. Where, where, where's this thingy? But you, here it is. Where's C? Here, C. That I think it's S M F M F. I think it's N B. Bam! Oh my goodness! I I'm actually starting to memorize this. This is becoming problematic. Oh, Roy A. We are now level 900. So let's see what our next fruit is. Please, Yolus, bro. Listen, I know our luck has been up and down in this video, but please give me something decent, bro. I want some good eats bruh never in my life will i ever look at you the same way again we have managed to get it y'all it was gonna happen eventually the rocket fruit is here oh my god but it really isn't that bad man i could definitely make do with this for the next 98 levels is it gonna be fun maybe not but is it gonna be the worst experience of my life maybe honestly who knows we're just gonna have to sit down and find out all right let's go ahead and fight fajita or rocket fruit is now leveled up so we'll do a little move showcase yeah this fruit's not too terrible you know that's missile fizz that's airstrike and this is rocket crash i mean what did you expect bro everyone knows what the rocket fruit got also i know that i skipped jeremy but i don't i don't really care no no one no one cares about jeremy man i'm not fighting jeremy wait is it jeremy is he is the other dude bro i don't the first guy with the sword diamond i think his name is diamond yeah we didn't fight diamond I'll probably skip a couple bosses because there's just like so much to do in this game dude i'm literally about to die but missile fizz let's go we actually barely clutched up with that and there we go we're now level 1000 that means we're 1500 levels away from victory but we're still not there yet sadly we gotta roll away from the rocket fruit as you can tell just like any other fruit in this video i've grown attached to it so let's see what the next fruit we're gonna have to level up for the next 100 levels is gonna be this video has not been super hot but hey at least this smoke fruit has elemental immunity so you know what for the next 100 levels i'm totally fine with this all right we are now level 1100 so we have to swap away from the smoke fruit fruit is all right you know we got the elemental immunity after a certain level which is nice smoke slam smoke blast smoke liberation and smoke bomber is also pretty cool as a flight move plus it also does a little bit of extra bonus damage but i'm quite ready to get away from this oh the core is up i don't think i have enough time to do that though but uh we are going to roll for our fruit show mr geolas what fruit are we going to use now it's going to be the sand fruit again okay so since we already used the sand fruit honestly i I do want to swap off of this all right we're on the moin channel let's see we're gonna get uh bruh stop giving me the same thing all over again bruh. all right i'm going to fact i'm in a maid outfit as luffy right now let's go ahead and roll again come on bro just give me something what is going on 
Dude, I got the curse of the diamonds, bro. The, the Usopp account got me, bro. There's no way Usopp can't clutch up right now. No, I kind of expected to get a bunch of dupes. So maybe, maybe I honestly should just let it be. Maybe, maybe I should just let it be, bro. All right, you know what? I'm going to do two more accounts. If we don't get anything good, we don't get anything good. Oh, spend fruit. Let's go. Okay, that's something different. Okay, guys, I'm not going to lie to you. Right now, we are not having a great time. The spend fruit is definitely the weaker fruit that we've used today. Definitely on the weaker side. I, I just don't think it's I don't think it's cutting it, bro. Rocket even was a little bit better than this because Rocket had like a little mini cool combo that I feel like did a lot of damage. So I think what I'm going to allow myself to get as a little bit of a treat for making it this far is I'm going to actually allow myself to swap off combat and give myself a better fighting style just to kind of help me do a little bit of extra damage. So I'm thinking either Electro or Water Kung Fu. Obviously not going to give myself anything busted, but like one of those two should be good. So let's just fly over here really quickly and see which fighting style we're going to use. Because, yeah, I don't know, man. I'm not feeling the normal combat right now. It's damage is definitely a little too soft, bro. Yeah, let's let's buy water kung fu. I don't need it, but it's just gonna help me a lot for getting through th this next hundred levels. Cause yeah, bro, this spin fruit is not it, bro. It is not it at all. So for our F, we got helicopter flight. It's actually a pretty cool. It's a pretty cool move. Though, I'm not gonna lie. That's razor wind. We got tornado assault. It's a little Beyblade spin, and then our final move that I literally just got is air slasher. Like the art and stuff around it looks super cool, but the fruit itself is low key kind of buttons, dude. Oh, Oh my goodness. Okay, we're level 1200 finally. Dude, that took a long time. That was the longest grind yet. I'm not gonna let, dude, I never wanna use a spin fruit again. Oh my gosh. Let's see what Zeolus is gonna get us though. Please, something decent. Dude, I'm literally getting every comment in the books. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie to you guys, bro. My RNG is not, it's not hitting right now. Oh boy, okay, level 1300. Not gonna lie, I used a lot of water kung fu to get me to this level. I'm not, I'm not gonna sit here and lie to you guys. You can see my, my, like my spike mastery is pretty low. This fruit is so buns, bro. So one cool thing about spike is you can kind of do this little mini combo, right? You can do spike summon, which will shoot him in the air, and then you can spike barrage. In here, it's not super great, but it's like a mini little combo. You also got whirlwind, which is like decent, but bro, I'm not gonna lie to you. This fruit is so buns. I'm at a point in this game where they need to stop giving me common fruits, bro. This isn't funny anymore, Zeolish. I can't use any more common fruits. I've, I think I've used all of them. Let's take a gander. Rocket we've used, spin we've used, chop we used. We have a new spring. At this point, once we get spring, because it's gonna happen, let's keep it real, but once we get spring, I'm pretty sure every other fruit is gonna be good. But okay, Zeolus, please, please give me something decent. No, I said no dupes, but like, I also own the rules. Okay, here's what I'm gonna do. We're gonna roll on five different accounts other than this one. If we can't get something like brand new, we're using the light fruit, bro. Listen, I will bend the rules a little in my favor because I deserve it. My two times XP. It's at three hours and 15 minutes. At the start of the video, about 24 hours of two times XP and I'm only level 1300, which means I've put over to like 20 hours. Well, I am literally exactly halfway done. So I think I deserve to bend the rules a little sometimes. Account numero uno. Let's see what we can get. Anything decent? Anything decent? Oh, uh, flame fruit. Oh, that's new. Okay, cool. I'm totally fine with this, though. It may not be a life fruit, but honestly, dude, I am totally fine with this. I just want, you know, something cool, bro. Like, I'm so tired of these dookie doodle -doo fruits. Okay, well, I'll see you guys in the next hundred levels. I'm not gonna lie. The flame fruit was a blessing, bro. This fruit is amazing for farming. Obviously, elemental immunity is sick, but the move set for this, dude, honestly, one of the best, if not the best. Like, what is this? Red? No, it's uncommon, right? Probably the best uncommon fruit. Sally, the flight is kind of dookie, though. Like, look at this. Ugh. I'd rather just I literally would rather just click the Q button than fly. Let's just kill this last ship, steward. Take these fire bullets. Yep, yep, but any any day now. You know what? I'm a flame destroyer, the final one. And there we go, level 1400. Let's go ahead and roll for our next fruit. I'm not gonna lie, I'm so sad, bruh. Every time I roll away from like one of these fun fruits, I get so sad. Let's see if the main account got the main account RNG, bruh. Bam, bruh. All right, Luffy and the maid fit always works, bro. It always works. We're about to get a Kitsune, watch this. Nope, never mind. All right, here we go. Roll number, what is this, three? This is roll number three. I knew 
knew was gonna happen. And it's gonna happen in the last 100 levels of the second CRU for real. This is the final doodle fruit. And you know, we're getting it over with, with the with the second C. Instead of me just having to, you know, randomly in the third C get the spring fruit. Let, I'm glad that we got it over with, but that is really nuts though. Cause technically speaking, it is possible for us to just have gotten a bunch of good fruits. Not in this video, bruh. <laughs> this video has been nothing but pain. All right, I'm level 1500 finally. If you're asking for a spring showcase, I got you, bam. That's the whole fruit, bro. I don't wanna talk about it. You can tell from my voice, I don't wanna talk about it. Let's see what the final fruit of the second C is gonna be. I say that, but we're literally about to leave. So let's see what fruit we're gonna have to fight Don Swan with. Oh my gosh, finally something cool. <laughs> I'm joking, we got some cool fruits in this video. I mean, I have no choice but to eat it, but I'm also gonna say this now. In the third C, we're gonna start doing something a little cute. But I do have to go fight Don Swan, but I just don't think we can really fight him right now with just heart shots. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to swing over here. I feel like it'll be easier for me to just do this quest and see if I could just get myself at least mastery like 50. It should be fine. All right, let me go ahead and trade myself really quickly. I'm going to give myself a quick fruit here, bro. You could you could take this. Uh, oh, I, I got no space. Thank you me for the free quake fruits. And I'm going to be taking this quake fruit to mr uh person whose name i totally didn't forget ah yes trevor my bestie for resty trevor let's unstore this quake fruit i hate this part of the game by the way and let's go ahead and fight mr Swanson. bro this video is taking ages bro i'm just trying to get this done at this point <laughs> we got five minutes left on our two times xp that i bought 24 hours of and we're only done with the second c so let's see if we can try to beat don swan before that uh that five minutes minutes is up if, if we can that would be cool if we can it is what it is there's his second form all right i'm getting out the flamingo we're, we're rushing this bro we're rushing this bro all right heart shot let's go oh and we got swan glasses no way bro it took me ages to get swan glasses on my main account there's no way we just got those let's go i'm kind of drippy though not really i mean mm. and talk to mr king redhead right here and we have to go ahead and fight rip Indra. this this is gonna be interesting we got irresistible attraction now and that's how you use it i completely used that incorrectly oopsie oh i think i yep there we go he's in the second form now oh man the second c is finally done anyways as we are watching Watching this interesting cutscene, I'm allowed to now tell you guys what the rules for the third C shall be. Cause it's gonna be a little bit different than the other C's. So just to make it a little bit more interested and a little bit more fun on me, I'm gonna allow myself to choose the next 10 fruits that we use for the for the rest of this video. And yes, I if I wanted to, I could choose a bunch of mythicals, but I might not actually do that. I think I'm gonna end up giving myself 10 fruits that are pretty balanced, I'd say. And it will leave the really, really crazy ones for like the edited video. So maybe again, like for the last 50 or 100 levels, I'll give myself like, I don't know, bro, the Kitsune fruit or something. We're gonna, we're gonna see what I decide to give myself. Ah, the second C. I tried to sound like the SpongeBob dude. And this is the third C, not the second C. Yeah, I'm cooked. Oh boy. All right. Well, I'm just gonna keep doing what I've been doing best. You know, the best that I can. Let, let's, let's get through this. Well, it was fun while it lasted, but we're done with the love fruit now. I guess I'll do a little mini move showcase i don't really think you guys need it but i mean you've already seen everything else i'll just show you guys irresistible attraction and best so friend oh yep i summon myself because i'm my only friend so yeah now starting we're gonna be giving ourselves like whatever fruits that we want necessarily like essentially but you know i'm still gonna roll because you never know you never you never know what we can get let's roll <laughs> a blam yeah no nah, we're not doing that <laughs> yeah no we're not doing that let's see what's at the blocks fruit dealer though maybe they have something cool in here maybe maybe something pretty neat they have absolutely nothing in here this is the most out of stock shop i've ever seen ice could be kind of fun though you know what i'll buy ice why not let's, let's buy ice we have not used ice so far in this video so wham is our hockey like special enough yet like i want to i want to get i want to get some cool hockey never mind can't afford it all right let's get out of here i have been loving the ice fruit i mean it's it's decent it definitely would have been better if it was awakened but hey many moves showcase let's be for real bro y'all not here 
idea for the move showcase. You want to see what the next room is going to be. Let's get, go ahead and roll. See if we get something different. Bomb fruit again. I don't know what's going on, bro. It's kind of, hey, we, we, we're kind of twinning right now, though. Let's check the dealer again. I doubt they'll have anything different from the last time I checked, though. It hasn't been that long. Yeah, okay. So here's what I'm going to do, right? We're going to go ahead and look in the perm shop really quickly. I'm going to choose something pretty fun that we haven't used yet. Let's go with... No, well, let's do rubber. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's do the rubber fruit. We haven't used the rubber fruit in this video yet. We've used so many fruits, dude. 18 fruits have been used so far in this video. So yeah, let's go ahead and let, let's do rubber. And then after that, honestly, we're gonna have to start getting to some of the high tiers. Might have to do sound, maybe rumble. I'm not doing portal. That's, that's not happening. We'll, we'll see which other ones I choose, but let me go ahead and uh, get on the main account really quickly and get myself a rubber fruit. All right, here we go. Give me that rubber fruit, boyo. And Huzzah. Let's go ahead and eat up on a rubber fruit. But yeah, nah, it's actually kind of crazy. We couldn't even get this fruit earlier. Usually I roll this fruit all the time, but nah, no, nope, definitely no RNG for that in this video. <laughs> it is what it is. All right, A, and now we're level 1900. Rubber fruit was a solid 10 out of 10, bro. I'm so glad I allowed myself to get this fruit. All right, though, let's see. Let's see what fruit I'm going to give myself this time. Actually, wait, I'm going to go ahead and roll a fruit on my main account because I just realized I haven't done that. It's a spin fruit. Okay, never mind. I think for this level, though, I'm going to give myself the Phoenix fruit. All right, here we go. Look at my aura, dude. I got I got the, the crazy aura right now. But let's eat the Phoenix fruit. And yeah, we only got a cannon right now. Wham. So pretty cool move. Let me go swing to the next area and get this next 100 levels gone. I literally we still have another five different fruits we have to get. I got no idea what we're going to do for those. But <laughs> stay tuned to find out. All right, level 2000. So let's go ahead and... Uh, uh, let's let's roll the next fruit. I'm literally like out of fruit, so I'm kind of forced to roll and then try to hope. I guess thing I can trade. <laughs> okay, smoke fruit's not super great. Let's see if there's anything at the blocks fruits dealer right now. Nah, absolutely nothing. Okay. Oh wait, a fruit spawn. <laughs> what are the odds this is something good? It's right here too. Like I could have actually ran into this. Let's see what it is. It's bruh, dude. I wish I had the RNG of the gods. Cause what is going on with my RNG in this video? It's so bad. Oh, whirl of fruit too. Maybe, maybe we could get lucky with the rolls. Come on, bro. What is going on? I want to use the rumble fruit, but it's just too expensive, bro. I, I can't get it. I have an idea. I don't know if this is going to work, though. All right. I got some of the helpers rolling for fruits as well. So we're going to roll on Gat Sigma Game Pass. Oh, ice fruit. That's not bad. That's some money. All right. He's rolling for us. Come on, bro. Get some good RNG. Ooh. Okay, we'll take that. We're getting the money up. The money is going up. All right, let me go ahead and roll on Katakuri spinning. That, that's not even worth dropping, bro. Let's see what this guy gets. Please get something good, bro. Please get something good. And it's a, it's a, oh, you know what? They got some good RNG. See, why can't I get luck like this when I need it? All right, I think with barrier and I, I think I might be able to afford it. I, I don't know. All right, there we go. This is one of the most rest in peace trades of all time. If this was like a normal trade, but we're, we're fine with this. And there we go. Next, week, we're going to be leveling up for the next hundred levels. It's going to be a rumble fruit. I, I literally don't know how I'm going to get the fruits after this one, but I guess we'll have to see it when we get there. All right, we're level 2100. So before we go to the sea of treats, we obviously got to roll our fruit. All right, hey, let's go ahead and roll and see if we got anything good. Oh, a life fruit, dude. How many life fruits have been obtained in this video? See, I still got one. I still have one in my inventory. So genius strat, I'm just, I'm just going to trade my fruit here. I could use Quake. Quake would be interesting. Wait, I'm low key a genius. I just realized I could just keep trading my fruit value up until I get the fruit that I'm looking for. Wait, this is a genius strat. I've never thought of this before. All right, I've decided the fruit that we're going to use for the next hundred levels is going to be the mammoth fruit. This sounds, this sounds fun. I don't think I've even used a mammoth fruit in a noob to max level yet. It's going to happen eventually. We're going to, we're going to do a, new, a mammoth noob to max, but not now. So yeah, this is the next fruit we're going to be messing around with. That strategy to just trade up. Up. I'm so stupid. I cannot believe I didn't think of just doing that earlier, but it's okay. We're here now. It's only big moves from here. 400 levels to go, bro. I can almost taste the victory in the air. All right, hey, we 
and now level 2200 mammoth fruit was goaded bro it was so goaded first couple levels were a little difficult but like listen bro we did what we needed to do let's go ahead and roll for another fruit give me a blizzard fruit i don't actually have one but that would be fun to you oh well that's awkward wowza i just rolled a spin fruit on this account too okay we're going back to the normal strategy bro now 350 levels left i don't even know what fruit i want to give myself bro <laughs> i don't i don't know at all i'm at the point in the game i really don't want to use any dookie fruits you know i gotta be a little fair sometimes i can't i can't just give myself a kitsune fruit now we gotta work our way there guys take your time you know what let's do it let's do a sound fruit sound fruit sounds fun let, let, let's do that one and bazinga let's go ahead and um nom 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 i'm getting rid of a lot of my good fruits in this video but i don't really care bro i'm having fun and after this we only get like two more fruits bro i'll tell you right now kitsune is gonna be one of them i don't know which one's gonna be but it's gonna be one of them and i don't know what the last 50 levels are gonna be used for bro this is this is such an interesting video idea Alrighty, sound fruit has been used next fruit time to roll what are we gonna get oh my goodness bro i rolled another bomb fruit all right man all right so i'm actually on trade and cooldown so i just rolled this magma fruit so so this is gonna have to do sorry man i wanted to spice it up oh oh wow bro we're gonna we're gonna have to use the magma fruit again for the next hundred levels i wanted to use kitsune though bro for the last hundred i don't i don't think we're gonna be able to use kitsune guys i i don't i don't know what we're gonna do all right there we go level 2400 what what what's the next fruit gonna be i don't think we have enough time to roll but honestly hmm what fruits do i have on me i got smoke rocket and bomb let's let's use the smoke fruit why not let's use it let's use the smoke fruit i'm off the track of what i wanted to do i'm not gonna lie i really wanted to use a kitsune fruit but it's okay we're gonna use the smoke fruit honestly bro it doesn't even matter to me at this point i'm numb to the pain okay last 50 levels it's 100 levels not 50 oh my gosh final island time bro let's do it i'm here though can i roll a fruit nope all right last fruit change i'm not gonna lie guys bro i'm exhausted i'm too tired to go back to spawn bro we're eating a rocket fruit and we're calling it a day finally we're done guys we're ending it with one last rocket shot missile fist and there we go we've gone from new to max level this has easily been the hardest new to max level that i've done yet easily i think this is hit 50 hours on the dot i have to do the math but i'm pretty sure it's about 50 hours so if you enjoyed this video be sure to drop a like and subscribe and you'll probably enjoy this video where i went from noob to max level with every single game pass